Wait, what about the, the like, intro? What, 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 were we going to do the, you know? That's no. Intro, John. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, so no. Who would like to read the session recap? Moving on. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was quick. Oh, that was quick. We were all ready for Everyone's it. Everyone's doing a nose goes. That was instant. <laughs> I think we might need a recount. I will, however, disqualify Josh because that is a very bad nose goes. You're bringing the palm up to your face. Everyone else has finger. And your form's a little bit funky. But it's I'll the let finger. It. Yeah, it is the finger, so I'm going to let it pass. Josh, that's not a finger. That's uh-huh. a knuckle. I dropped my phone for yes. this. <laughs> so it's me? So it's you, yeah. You're, you're being disqualified for your form. Okay. All right, drink, drink. Oh, God, I didn't realize this was a sport now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are getting good at it. Like, I didn't even process that yeah, I needed to... That- <laughs> when I didn't pass this just once, next time I have to do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty sure I was the last one. Yeah, anyways. I think you were too. Hey, Mocha. You you were too busy being shocked to to, to push your nose. If you <laughs> if you had just passed pushed through the shock, you could have done it. You were as I, I, I know who. I know that these two are one hundred percent safe. I think Kelly's safe. Yeah, I don't only, know about, <laughs> about Carrie. I, I saw it last time. I saw movement over oh, here yes, before I saw movement. That's true. Carrie did it last time. Yep. Uh, because no, Carrie was the only one who was slower than me. And, uh, yeah. No. You were disqualified, fair and square. I no. know, but I'm saying He's that if you had qualified, qualified it, I would have gotten my finger just before her. Uh-huh. But it doesn't matter. Because she read it last. Well, week. unfortunately, on the timesheet it says DQ, so you are below Carrie. Okay. <laughs> all right. Oh no! It should be is this all going to be in the recording? Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Awesome. <laughs> um, episode forty-six: Heroes. Wake up before night, gamers. Gunner receives an abusive letter <laughs> from y'all. The one I refused. The chieftain of Brave Braybar. The letter claims his allegiance to Jarl Runar Hildeson of New Avnordia and claims to have the support of Bjorn Odell of Galethorpe. The party decides to keep the contents of the letter private in fear that the news of losing an ally may disrupt morale. Slane approaches Stig about his knowledge of the regicide and Elder Guard. Uh, Slane explains that. Only Stonk is responsible for the death of the Jarl, and Stig accuses them of only helping Beruvik to save their own asses. Fair. Uh, Slane, Tavi, and Tyrell help feed the town at the Mead Hall. Slane summons food, despite the town's distrust of magic. Tyrell summons good berries, which she sneaks into the rations of sickly children. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, that would be morally... Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Stonk is summoned to help split frozen wood for fire and notices Elric's father, Elric X, there as well. Elric the Tenth? Yes. Okay. I'm the Eleventh. Elric X. He tried to initiate a conversation to ask questions, but ends up irritating Elric's father with his percep- in persistence. And then I, I ripped open, like, a, a log uh, with my bare you hands. Scared that you. was cool. Yeah. Uh, Tavi helps heal the sick while Thyroid... Thyra. Thyroid. Thyroid. <laughs> yeah. Thyra and Elric mix uh, herbal remedies. Tavi notices an elderly man with a hand blackened by frost, and Thyroid decides it needs to be amp- <laughs> amputated. Tavi saws the man's hand off and cauterizes the wound with magic. He is oh my god, Coleman must have, like, really <laughs> fucked with my head. I didn't remember this happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't remember this. It was awesome. We, yeah, we awesome. didn't even, like, sew the vein. We just like, burnt it. Oh, Jesus. Stonk and Tavi repair and reinforce the walls, Tavi sharpening the stakes, and Stonk driving them into the frozen ground. Stonk and Rickard debate strategies with Gunnar, Svend, and Elric's grandmother, Idun the Idun. First. Uh, Gunnar explains the importance of druids in the enemy's survival, with nobody knowing how many druids there are in Hilda's army. They are also unaware of how many trolls they have. Elric seeks out his mother, Inga Five, who is reorganizing the wreckage in Gunnar's office. Gunnar walks in and is upset by the change. <laughs> Slade, Rickard, and Tyrell find Elric's aunt and a child, uh, Ingeborg V and V1, in the library and discuss Slane's idea to destroy enemy supplies. She assumes Gunnar approves of this and agrees. The night of the celebration comes, and Gunnar struggles during his speech to introducing the party. He pulls through, and the party successfully introduces themselves and boosts the morale of the Carls of Beruvik. 
Carls? Carl is like the so Jarls are like the kings yeah. and like the noble people, the chieftains. Yeah. The Carls are like the middle class, and then thralls are the slaves. Hmm. So the people, basically. Okay. There Elric aren't Lee- many thralls in the Abnordian Empire. Oh yeah, I remember this part. Elric leaves to find his sister Inga Six, who sits alone on the frozen coastline. She expresses her bitterness about his abandonment. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Without Elric, everyone else is summoned to the wall after Gunnar is alerted that a man has been spotted at the tree line. Rickard almost shoots him. I'll say the southern him. wall, yeah. Rickard almost shoots him, but hesitates after noticing that the figure is burning the flag of Braemar. Mm. Well, what could mm. that mean? That's ominous. Alright, and so you guys have all seen the map now. I'm just saying, okay. Keep in mind... From now on, I'm going to be labeling towers by name. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I'm going to just pull it off. All right. I can't wait to see Tower Greg. All right. But you pin it slash repost it. Um, it's in maps in lore. Or maps and locations. This one. Lore Sorry. maps. Lore and maps. All right. So, Rickard, you currently have your bow, bow and arrow drawn and ready to fire. So at any notice, you can fire if you'd like. But you have decided to hesitate. Yes. Uh... I I'm still I'm still have it drawn in case sh- uh, something wacky happens. Mm-hmm. But currently I'm just I'm just waiting. All right. The figure wearing leather armor reinforced on his chest and back with dark iron plates. He appears to be human. I'll say Rickard because you have dark vision. You can you can see that a little bit better. I can. Um, I don't <laughs> think anybody. Oh yeah, you can also see. Tavi can also see as well. I have my eagle eye, but I rolled but... a literal, like, yeah, two. Yeah, you also have your eye covered. Yeah, and I also rolled a literal two last session for perception. Oh, oh boy. Kitty. All right. So, so about if that's the case, so you guys all, everybody who doesn't have dark vision, sees a humanoid, assumedly human figure holding up a torch and uh, burning uh, what appears to be a black flag. The rest of you are 100% yeah, that's a human. And they are definitely burning a black flag, but you can't really see too much of the design on it. They appear to be burning the flag of Baruvik. No, Braybar. sorry, Braybar. Braybar. Braybar, not Baruvik. <laughs> then sorry, the, you sorry. would definitely fire they are the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> my, my bad. Can I roll a sword so, if that means we, anything? <laughs> Unfortunately, you, you don't have dark vision, okay. so all you see is the figure holding the uh, okay. torch. Um, he holds the burning flag in his hands and stands for around 30 seconds as the ribbons of fire begin to start fizzling out. Do you guys do anything? I, I don't know what this means. Yeah. Do you, know. you understand what that means? Uh, I mean, I... Because right, yeah, you're the only one who can really see what's going yeah. on. I, I, I can see that they're burning the flag of Braybar. Mm-hmm. Does that mean Does, anything? Do, should should I roll a Braybar history check bad? to see if that means anything, or if it's just a literal roll? Uh, I say roll a history check. Um, I'll say the rest of you can roll. Um, the rest of you roll perception checks to look elsewhere. If you don't have dark vision, you do it with disadvantage. Okay. Alright. I don't know if that means anything other than Bray Bar Banner. Uh, 15. 15? Okay. Um, with a 15, I'll say that, yeah, that's obviously some sign of aggression. However, what that represents is a little bit muddy at the moment, mainly because for the longest time, they were allies, uh, Beruvik and Bray Bar. But recently, due to you know yeah, yeah. The, the new chieftain being a little bit of a wild card, that has changed. So there are multiple ways you can interpret that, but with a 15, I'd say that that's a threat. Uh, 18. 16? 18. With disadvantage? With disadvantage. Okay. 16? 5. The rest Six. of you... The rest of you look around. Yeah, you're not, you're not there. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm so... I'm so not paying attention in a different spot. Yeah. Uh, the rest of you look around and see, like, is there anyone else here? Is there anyone else here? Stonk, you have no idea. What that tree could be someone over there. That shadow could, could be fucking anyone. The rest of you, however, there. look around. You're like, there doesn't appear to be anyone here. It's just him. Well, I, I think 
last session I tried to call out to him and like he didn't um, respond. Yeah, he didn't respond. I mean, at his all. response was to burn the flag. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm just not going to try and call out to him again because also I don't think that's going to do anything. What the fuck are you doing? Stop oh. doing that. Yeah. There's no one else there. Gunner's there. You want to ask Gunner what's up? Gunner is just as just as confused, confused as the you rest guys. Of yeah. Us. What if I just went down there and chased him? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> you got if they feet. lock you out. <laughs> they wouldn't let the dog back in. <laughs> you you said you wanted to go outside. <laughs> you have 40 foot move speed. You could catch him. You're going to spend at least an hour out. outside now to wear yourself. <laughs> I also fly cast over. fly. That's terrifying. You can get T-pose cast, over here. Cast fly on stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Stop where you are. <laughs> the T-pose. Oh, yeah, no, no, not the T-pose. The, the praise the sun stands. It just goes up. Oh, Stop. Where, where you you violate the law. Spider climb up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that if you want. Yeah, that's oh, true. You should go Wild shaped giant eagles go down. If, if somebody... If someone wants to go down... I'm willing to go down, but I don't think Slane would make it back. You have a couple seconds before... Yeah. Um, no, if no one else wants to, I'll uh, keep you covered. Okay, I'll go with you. Okay, uh, both of you begin to walk down the. Uh, you guys are standing atop fly down? Harold right now, the uh, Tower of Harold at the South Wall. Mm-hmm. Harold, um, you guys uh, begin to walk down the stairs a little bit, and at this point, the fire and the embers begin to. Uh, like, dwindle and begin to start disappearing a little bit more into the shadows. And as you guys walk down and you open the door, the light is gone past the snow. Rickard, with your dark vision, because you have particularly far dark vision, you Mm -hmm. notice one other thing. As the, uh, with your dark vision, you notice the figure drop the smoldering banner into the snow and begin to weave himself back into the forest. Could you make one more perception check for me? Oh, perception. That's that's something I'm great at. That's like seven, I think. That's okay, seven. How do you roll so terribly You sometimes? see nothing past that. You have like the best skill checks of the entire party. And I have plus dice. eight in like Listen, four different though, skills. I think it's the dice I got you. I just think they're bad news. I... Yes, until they come in absolute clutch. Yeah. yeah. These dust, these dice are, they normally hate you, but in they're combat, nice sometimes. they're a monster. Yeah. It wants blood. That's why they're That's why they, 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 they won't blow it, blow it because blood. blood's about to be spilled. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you be playing a war game? Why, why aren't you killing? <laughs> why'd you play a war game with them? It's a name. It's war. Uh, the, so you see nothing past that point. The shadowed figure disappears into the woods. Um, Sven, as it disappears, and you guys notice, like, as you're kind of looking, like, where, where do we go? You hear Sven begin to yell, keep watch, put soon, it's soon, yeah, put soon, Ragnis, Harold, and Rar on high alert. I want people on watch throughout the fucking night. Blow your horns at the sign of anything else suspicious. Gunner's just like, what, what's happening? Who was that? What's going on? And no one fucking has any clue. Uh, yeah, they were burning the flag of Raybar. I don't know what that means, but that's what they're doing. And they didn't respond, just... That was their response. Oh, fuck. Eventually, you guys, as you kind of, like, wander out a little bit into the snow, you guys are beckoned back inside because this person has disappeared and they have no idea if they're dangerous or not. Is there anything you guys want to say to each other before walking back in? Hang on one second. Hmm. Is there any animals around here? Um, <laughs> it is currently the night, so no, nothing within nothing within reach no. that you can see. There's no rats. There's yeah, no, you can't see. Not an owl. Not a squirrel in a nest. No, no. Hmm. That squirrel would be hibernating. Next time. One day I'll use those spells. <laughs> like, maybe you trip over, yeah, like, a, he... a, a, a mouse in the snow. <laughs> Do you find, like, a dead mouse? mouse? I could, but nah, I was looking for something out snow there. Snow rabbit? I mean... Toilet rat. We have someone who can turn into an animal. Raccoon. If you want to deal with... The ramifications Deal of that. with that. 
be sensing on a wild shaping druid. That's like no. druid sex. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> the ship gets more intricate. What? <laughs> intricate rituals. Okay. Um, no, we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, well, if we don't find anything, um, I mean, if he's gone, I don't have anything I can do. Okay. I'm a barbarian. I hit things. So, uh, for the rest of the night, people are on guard on all of the towers, but specifically on the ones that Sven began to notice, which are all of the ones along the south wall. Um, there are, they have multiple guards in shifts kind of watching out over the net, like throughout the night. Um, if any of you guys would like to join in the watch, you are more than welcome to. However, right now everyone is recommended to go home, but at the sound of anything, you know, be, be ready to come. I'll assist in some of the watches. I'll okay. help in the watches. Okay. Do you guys want to watch like now or Can later? Can Rickard and I watch together? No, you would not be the only people. I know watching. we wouldn't be the only people, but could we watch together? As in, we would be in the same tower. In the same tower. <laughs> I'll, I'll put you in the towers right across from each other, so you two can just kind of go like, "Hey," but <sighs> no quiet they, conversation. Between no, <laughs> no quiet. No, I'll, yeah, you. I will not allow you to whiper to each other, but. Well, that, that's like only Sine and I can do it long Yeah, distances. only Sine and I can do it long distances. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the thing is, is that these these are they're like twenty feet apart because you know that's where the door is. Wouldn't you have multiple people in one watchtower though? Yeah, there are multiple people in each watchtower, but there's no reason to put the big two strong guys in one and then all the babies in the other. <laughs> gotta gotta separate the heroes. You wow, know? you you you're really really <laughs> playing this you up. You guys can be in the same one. It doesn't weird. matter. I'll <laughs> watching too. Okay, so I'll say we that... all the heroes the same watchtower. Is, yes, <laughs> that's not going to happen. But um, I'll say that there are three segments of watching. I'll say there's the rest of the night, um, the, er, the le- early night, late night, and early morning. I'll take an early morning because I can see during that. Okay, you want... Er- Selene is going to do early morning. I'll Wait, take an early morning. Early morning. So we're leaving them alone at the late night. Late night. Late <laughs> night. Late night. Late night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Late night. <sighs> er, early night or late night? So right now or in a little bit? Dark. In a little bit. In a little bit? Okay. Tavi? I guess early night then. Early night then? So you want to do it now then? Sure. Okay. Tavi just doesn't feel like walking back. So which tower uh, do you want to be stationed on? Hmm. How many are there? There are four. There's Sune, Ragnis, Harold, and Roar. Ragnis. Ragnis? Ragnis. Yeah, Ragnis. Alright, so you are sitting on Ragnis, which is the one right across from the one you were just on. So, uh, you are positioned there for uh, for a couple more hours, I'll say. Um, everyone else, um, probably everyone except for Stonk, um, heads back to Stig and Gullis, correct? Mm, yes. And then Stonk, do you head back to Lars' room? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do I know you guys are staying at Stick and Gullas? No. No. Absolutely Does not. Does anyone tell me you guys are staying at Stick and Gullas? Don't you want to keep sleeping in Stonk's room? <laughs> it's also Loris's room. It's also <laughs> just a child. I only know about Stonk's bedroom. No, we are here. You were staying with Thyra before. <laughs> I'll go to the Thyra's house. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I'll no. say that you go to Thyra's house and then, like... She could, uh, after tell, she could kick me out and tell me to go somewhere else, but I need to know where 30, to go. 30 minutes of you, like, crashed out on the floor, like, she walks in and just sees you on a table and just goes, ah, and closes the door, but she'll let you sleep there. <laughs> Listen, I don't have a place to stay. I got murdered. I don't, I'm not doing too hot. She had me sleep on the floor last time as well. Yeah. <laughs> like a dog. Um, and then... Yeah, so while you are watching on the wall... Um, please make a perception check. Perception. And if there's any conversation or question you want to ask the guards around you, you, you can do that. Okay. Think of anything. Okay. That brings empty. 16. 16? 16? Uh, with a 16, thankfully, you don't notice anything. Things suspicious. <laughs> that was suspicious. So either, said that. either you're good or they got a real high stealth check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
No, wait, 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 I need to roll something first. No, I don't have my dice. <laughs> I need to grab my dice. Well, the DM is not prepared. Wow. For shame. For shame. You should just, make fun of the DM. You should just make that roll auto fail. I'm certain that, you know, nothing bad ever happens from making fun of the DM. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Quick, let's withhold information from the DM. Yes, always. Pew, sort of the balls. That's not true. Quick, let's throw everything... That's not information withheld from the DM. Sort of the Lord balls. of all people would know. Let's throw everything in the plan chat out. Start over. Let's okay. do it. Oh, wait. No, oh, she's back. What? What? All right. So I wish we made use of this plan chat rather than yeah. the last plan. <laughs> yeah, you guys tried. I'll, I'll give. I'll give you that. You all get a star. Yay! So, oh, um, huh? wait. We all I take it back. Your your gold star is gone. Uh, <laughs> good. No, no. Star. Just Tyler's gold Just star. Just Tyler's. Is gone. Everyone else hell has theirs. Yeah. I have two gold mean. stars. So, um, but yeah. Thankfully, you see nothing. The rest of you. Go back and rest. Is there any conversations that any of you wish to have, or should we keep moving? Um, no, I mean, I'm sleeping alone until I have to do my watch. Okay. I don't think I have anything to talk about. Okay. I think we're most on the same page for once in our lives. Yeah. It's scary that I'm on the same page. I feel page. like Fyra doesn't want to be disturbed. <laughs> At least among the party. It's strange how a life or death battle kind of focuses everyone's attention. Life or death battles is the only thing that kept Mikkel from killing Stein. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um, Tavi, you are done with your watch, and that would bring Stonk and Rickard to yeah. doing the next watch. You make your way back to Stig and Gullas, correct? Yeah. Okay, so that means you're there with Tyrell and Selena then. Who's keeping watch on Stig? He's sleeping. He's sleeping? He's old. Yeah, he went to I bed presume so. Someone... I'll say that you wait until he goes to sleep. He's asleep when you leave. Yep. He's asleep when you come back. Cool. <laughs> Insight <check. laughs> <laughs> I don't trust this old man. All right. He doesn't need that much sleep. <laughs> Would both of you like to make a perception check? Again, if you two wish to speak, you can, but there are other people next to you. Okay. Um, no pressure. How would you sleep? It's all pretty good. How no, you guys you? should be on the same tower, I was. You're, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Eleven. Do I have to roll with disadvantage? Unless you want to reveal the eye. <sighs> you... No. No. These guys haven't seen the lives in a while. They might have just assumed it's normal. Yes, the pink eye. <laughs> pink eye. Yeah, you convinced one person it was pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> and that it wasn't contagious pink eye. Wow. All right. Cool. Eight. Uh, Eleven and an eight. Neither of you two see, see anything. anything. Suspicious. <laughs> yeah. You want to roll for the guards in case the guards see something? <laughs> well, I hope they see something. We're not. Okay. There's nothing. Damn. No. Oh. Just shoots a wild arrow. Kill us is rolling oh, so many nat 20 to sneak up to the front gate. <laughs> hey, Tommy. How you doing? Can this we... is targeted now. Oh. <laughs> big plans. It's your fault big, they big didn't notice anything. Rick, you're a very smart man. <laughs> are you guys, do you guys want to roleplay or are you good? Yeah, we'll roleplay real okay, quick. Okay. Stonk okay. and Rickard make out. <laughs> no more pass. There are many cursed ships and Stonk and Rickard are a part of all of them. <laughs> Rickard. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Up here, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> I'm nipping. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, we need a huddle for warmth. The weather's cold up here. <laughs> you come here often. Pretty old or abnormal man. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad about she that. She wants the nugs. <laughs> I hope we got all of that in the mic. Yeah. Very right. loud. That speech was absolutely on mic. Yeah. Alright. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll probably just start a conversation like, got any plans? Uh, I'm not exactly a war strategy guy. However, I've been thinking building traps outside the walls. Decent idea. 
digging holes, mm-hmm. uh, adding spike traps, maybe even the sounds gross, mm-hmm. but we can put the spike traps in fecal matter in order to induce infection. Stonk is just like, whoa, oh, that's a thing. You can do that? You can do that? That's disgusting. I thought chains were, I thought disease came from bad air. (laughs) (laughs) Spicy air. It won't kill them outright, but it will kill them within the week. Probably will hurt them in the long term. Additionally, I don't think this really needs to be said, but focus fire on anybody that looks like they are in a leadership position. Like Hilda? The, like Hilda. Mm-hmm. Like her bastard son. Of course. Any of the druids. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit and run tactics might be might be decent. Slane can the probably <laughs> Slane can probably sneak in, start a few fires. He is quite sneaky. He is quite sneaky. <laughs> he is I still think my my idea of cause that <laughs> statement from that guy I was assuming was like Braybar making peace, but now I'm not so certain. So my I probably should have. I should have shot the. I should have shot at least in the knee. Yeah. Is that going to be Rickard's like? God damn it, I should have shot. You should have shot to You gotta make kill. it a running joke that that's all he's thinking about the entire session. I should have done it. You should have shot him in like the ankle so he left a blood trail to follow. Ooh. Rickard, you are a good you are a good enough archer to where you could do you could pull shit like that. I love yeah. that. Could have pulled shit. You I, I have, have I have the sharpshooter feet and as high as I could feasibly get without uh, And dark vision. And dark vision. Jesus Christ, I, I, you I, should have shot. I, I no, should have shot. No, Rickard, you are literally... <laughs> go, remember when I took the, 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 the sniper on the skis? I told you. Yeah, you're gonna be fucking deadly. <laughs> okay. I still think uh, my, my, my boat crossfire solution for the south is gonna be... Uh, is that Josh thing. speaking or... That's me uh, awesome. speaking. Okay. Because Stonk would never come Strategy up comes stupid. later. Are you guys good? Uh, uh yeah. Wait, wait. Oh. Uh, additionally... Whatever we could get Elric's family to do could absolutely benefit us. Who wants to talk to them? <laughs> I tried talking to the guy, the um, man. He's very quiet, didn't Elric? say much. Yes, they're all named Elric. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he didn't seem that interested in conversation. I talked to his aunt and relative, relative, <laughs> <laughs> and they seemed very, actually, surprisingly easy to talk to, comparatively. Uh, they seemed more than willing to break things. So we got that. <laughs> But what about the uh, the matriarch, the one who probably is the strongest of them? I have not said many words, <laughs> if any. Good talk. Good talk. That's what I said. Alex's <laughs> last words to you were: "Don't let her know anything about you, or you will fucking die." <laughs> Do you think Alric's going to talk to her? I don't think he has choice. Well, it is his family. (laughs) This is why we don't let the two people without empathy speak. (laughs) (laughs) He's going to talk to his primary abuser. Yeah. Just teach us fucking talk to him. It's his family. It's his problem. Like, what the fuck are we (laughs) doing? I mean, Rickard's been told, don't tell her anything, otherwise she'll kill you, and Stonk does not care. I didn't think you were there for that. Stonk doesn't see people as human. Especially these fuckers. Alright. 
To be fair, I didn't say don't talk to her. I said don't tell her anything about you. Right. You gotta so, be an enigma. Anything else? I mean, not not that I can think of. It's on my head. Okay. We'll just converse All right. throughout the night. So you converse throughout the night. Tavi. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Uh, so you have a little bit of a difficulty sleeping tonight. Oh. Um, for Slane and uh, Terrell are both sleeping. Um, sleeping. <sighs> Honk, me, 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 So the fire cracks as a twig in uh, bursts in the center of the fire in the uh, middle of the room at Steg and Golo's home. Um, the rest of you, Turil and Slane, sleep upon bales of hay, blankets, and a few sleepy sheep. Um, whether you rest during this time or lay awake listening for the sound of the horn, Tavi, you cannot sleep. You watch the fire, trying not to relive the horrifying experience of sawing a man's arm off, um, <laughs> your untimely death and resurrection, um, the char- charred carvings on the back of that tiefling corpse, you know, there, there are a lot of shit, a lot of shit keeping you up at night. Did recently. you take all of this from the ship? Yes, I did. I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used the resources I, I am I should have put it in a different document, I guess. <laughs> This is too vulnerable. <laughs> um, the fire begins to dwindle throughout the night, but enough to make the room a little bit cooler. Um, it's quiet outside, beside the light whistle of wind rubbing up against the walls. Don't, Josh. I'm not going. You're going to hit the mic. You watch the fire. The fire cracks again, but instead of bursting like it did before, it leaps back into the air and reforms in smoldering embers in the fire. The smoke falls from the ceiling, slowly being devoured by the growing fire that reconstructs itself from ashes. The blaze continues to expand with you noticing this. Um, (laughs) uh, the blaze continues to expand, loudly cackling like a freshly lit campfire. Its tendrils wrap and curl into an artificial mass of fiery ribbons and exhumed smoke. Tavi, son of no one. The smoke curls into shoulders and the flames paint the face of an apparition of a blazing Yotan. You are Hammer. Oh, it's Oogie. It's Oogie. You guys are like, oh no, who's this? Oogie! I am not in danger! Yay! Yes. Quick time, you have 30 seconds. Seduce Oogie to our cop. <laughs> A long wooden handle sticks out from the fire, hardened and blackened by the licks of flame. A glowing mass emerges on the end of the handle. Reddened and glowing from the forge. Take it. I think it. You grab the handle, smooth and hot. Your hands resist the pain of the fire. The figure stares at you through the embers and pauses. Remember, boy, all broken things can be reforged. And releases the maul, letting you pull it out of the fire. No matter how fine the dust the fire dies and is reduced to a small, smoldering fire consumed by ash. Make a perception check for me. Is Luki gonna be here? It's gonna be really, awake. really hard for him to pull that trick of the bow. <laughs> perception? What, 14? No, yes. 16 again. You see Gulla lying awake, petrified in a corner. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Not and you just see her holding her face and just eyes widened with fear. Oh god, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of what it looks like, would you like to see what it looks like? Yeah. Oh, yes. I would love to see what this looks like. Oh my god, Lauren Art. I've been excited for this thing. I've been looking looks forward like to it. Killer. I have also <laughs> added it to your um, to your uh, D&D Beyond profile. So you can equip it. It does, I believe, need a tune. Okay. Well, luckily you're taking a long rest right now. Assuming I ever sleep. <laughs> do, 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 do. Well, first you I'm gonna do Eldingheim art or info treasury. Uh, 
That's the only thing I'm worried about. Yeah. And then you gotta convince Gullard that you don't know demons. It's just one of the major gods giving you a hammer. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Ooh. I think I could do some major bonk. Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Oh, it's got little horns on it. That's so cute. <laughs> Right, what's this? <laughs> you grab it. And compared to your other hammer, the end is fucking massively heavy. The hammer you swung before was made of stone, and which was already extraordinarily heavy. This is like worked metal. So instead of like a bulbous stone you've got attached to a stick, this is now full on iron hammer. I have like the expression very vividly in my head. You know, like when you're eight and you find the perfect stick. Yeah. Yep. It's that, it's that look on his face. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun. <laughs> but Gola in the corner, yeah, fuck. screaming, crying, shitting. <laughs> <laughs> the head is actually made of uranium. You will have cancer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but oh, but it's gonna hit really hard. Yeah. Do you yeah, get cancer, 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 cancer for one extra D six of damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to explain what the weapon does? Actually. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 All right. Yeah. Honestly, that would be a cool weapon. You get extra damage, but it does, in fact, give you magical <laughs> cancer. I'm gonna let you guys know that Tavi used his wish on a weapon. It's a really strong weapon. It's a weapon. really, really good weapon. You gain a plus three bonus attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. <sighs> Once you are tuned to the weapon, you cannot be disarmed unless you are incapacitated. Oh. <laughs> When you hit a fiend with this weapon, it takes an extra 3d6 thunder damage, or whatever your smite damage is. For the purpose of this weapon, fiend refers to any creature with the fiend type, including demons and devils. Proficiency with them all allows you to add your proficiency bonus to the attack for any attack you make with it. Hot damn. Hot diggity. You got- Josh is jealous. No. Plus three weapon. <laughs> That's actually very standard. Yeah. Mini um, Mjolnir. Yeah, so you cannot be disarmed from it, so when it's in your hands, you cannot drop it. Plus three is very strong, <laughs> but the 3d6 thunder damage is, um, I mean, against the fiend, it's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. But against everything else, it's just it, a It's just a fight, and then just delete. Mm-hmm. Gone for you specifically you asked for a, for a let's kill. <laughs> just put her down, put her down. Yeah, put her down. Put her down. The baby is not happy right now. She hasn't had dinner yet, so she's angry. But, um, yeah, Gulla petrified in the corner. Let's, the hammer's really cool, but just let's like, get back in the okay, moment. Yeah, I'm gonna, like, set it down and just be like, not what it looks like. <sighs> oh, demon! No, 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 God, no. This, this was my wish from the tournament. This, this oh is God. what I won. It's oh not, it's not This demon. commotion wakes you two up. Does it wake Stig up? No, he's a he's a Slane level sleeper. Man. He's fucking tired. He's dead. He's had so much work recently. And the, so the rest of you are woken up to Gullah just kind of in hysterics, you know, very afraid. Stompair just watching on the wall. <laughs> yep. Old lady screaming. You don't. You don't care. What happened? Not too. Oh God. Uh. Uh. That thing. Okay. And she points at the beautiful but terrifying mall that sits in the center of the room. Look, he came by. <laughs> oh, good for you. Uh, oh. Oh. How, How did he come by? Campfire. Or you just, fire. You just see this tiny little smoldering campfire just go... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she she thinks they're part of the demon. The corner shitting herself. <laughs> Good luck. Help me explain, <laughs> you asshole! <laughs> uh, what is this? So when we won the 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 tournament for Ingvald, we each yeah. got a wish. One of us used our wish to save the town. Tavi used his wish to get this hammer. And she just starts breathing and heavily. What you saw in the fire. Was I the god of fire? The god of fire, I think, isn't forge the god of the forge. That's what yeah. I thought. I wanted to make sure beforehand. Was the was Uki the god of the forge? I've never heard of of Uki before. Now you have. And she just kind of looks around, frightening. Could you um roll me a uh, persuasion check? Yeah. 
Yeah. Tyrell, if you want to say something, you can give him advantage. <laughs> I want to try well, and, like, nothing confer. I like, you know, like, when you there, have, like, there. an upset kid, you try and, like, um, scaffold their breathing. Yeah. So you take, like, a deep breaths. You're, You're just next to like, them. <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Do I have advantage? Then? Yes. Okay. Nine. <laughs> Twelve. So that's going to be a seventeen. Yeah, uh, she's she believes you, so she just sits there and goes, okay, okay, okay. Just warn me next time. <laughs> Stig says you're all in too many shenanigans, and now I now I see why. And she begins to put herself in bed. How's he gonna deliver your boat? <laughs> <laughs> my boat is said. My boat's being delivered to Tavesta. Yeah, hope. directly. To I hope I'm not having to deliver. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's like. Drop it. I, I don't cover shipping. When do you want to see it? <laughs> I, like, I will. I like to will see only... it. I, I know how Slane's going out in the end. Don't worry. I like to imagine he can only deliver through Crush fire. So he's like, he has to go underwater. <laughs> he's like, fuck, how do I do this? Okay, let's just have someone build a big ass bonfire on this coast. <laughs> and we'll just launch the ship through it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> I have a lore question. Kind of, yes. And then it's immediately they all just made of uh-huh. fucking gold. Has hey, Goladea a little point. actual <laughs> Bella? No. <laughs> Alright. So, um... Can we try to get the fire start like, going back up to where it was before? Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. fine. So they, they restart it and everything's fine. But, uh, so you guys all return back and at this point the commotion has worn down. So you two don't even notice that anything happened while you were gone. Other than the, oh, it smells a little more campfire in here. Well, I wasn't going back Sulfur. there. Well, no, you, Rickard. Yeah, Rickard. Yeah. Does Rickard notice double hammer? Rickard, with Passive your investigation, investigation, you, yes, you do. <laughs> Tommy, you, are you holding it? Well, you sleep, you have two hairs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't be a thorn. Poppy's gonna have the love and thunder debacle of I'm cheating on my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> my other weapon. You can't do wield. You can't. Double bond. Come on, with the 20-inch This ain't 3.5. If you get a giant belt of giant strength, then maybe. Well, Which I'm, is possible in a giant, a giant. Or a half giant soon. Look, you just gotta do the tournament again to get the belt of fire giant strength or soul giant strength <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah. You just gotta become buddies with Uki. Yeah, well, that's reasonable. Belt of giant strength. Yeah, right. maybe he'll just That's how that works, right? Maybe. <laughs> you need Ogi when you to eventually <laughs> abandon Thor, Ogi, Ogi will take it, take you in. Ogi's oh, chill. Uh, when I eventually <laughs> abandon LMAs. <laughs> All right, early morning watch time. Tyrell, Slane, Elric. Um, are you guys all on the same tower, or do you want to be separated? I, I honestly just want to tell them that like, you can fit me wherever you think I'm. <clears throat> I'd like to be in the same tower as Terrell. Okay. I end up where I end up. If the plot so happens to put me in the same tower. But I, Winks at DM. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any particular conversation we'll play on, so wherever. Mm, I feel like... I'd normally put Slane on a different tower because you have the observant feet. That is perfectly fun. Alright, then I will say Thurl and Elric, you are on the same. <laughs> the same uh, and then Slane, you are on the one right next to him. So you are on Ragnese, they are on Harold. Okay. We can read lips. I can read lips, Hi. so. Hi. <laughs> We're probably so tired. I'm slowly undying from being murdered. Right. Like, Good for you. Like three times in two oh. days. And it's not dark out anymore. It is... Well, That's it's... That's why I chose the morning. It's morning in the sense where there is light that's making it a little bit way through the clouds. Dim, dim, so it's dim. still... Yeah. Visibility's low, but you're seeing as well as you can. Yep. Yeah. Dim light's better than no light. Yeah. Look, I gotta use my feet somehow, so we're gonna... Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna use guidance. <laughs> Weirdly, I give you guidance. Okay, thank you. You are guided. You can give me guidance. I'm not gonna give you guidance. We guide each other, Lauren. I can't give myself guidance. The irony. What does that do? 
D4. Uh, D4. 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 I thought it was a D6. Nope. That's Bardic Inspiration. No, Bardic Inspiration changes based on your level. Thank God I'm a halfling, but it starts out at D6. Damn, that's just sad. Oh, um, I see. Were you rolling? Hmm? Were you, weren't you? We both, we both guidance each other. Oh, yeah. okay. So what'd you get? Nine plus no. oh, eight down, plus <laughs> three. Nine plus eight plus three. Seventeen, uh, 20. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I see got it with a twenty-eight. Okay. <laughs> no, it was equal. <laughs> with guidance, eight. Look at tower. <laughs> then <laughs> each tower has a couple horns on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the early morning comes with the sun barely making its way past the thick gray clouds. Slane, with the highest roll, you peer in the distance. Some figures appearing between the uh, between the trees. Thrill, you soon follow and notice as well. You see Slane like stand up, and you notice that, and then you look out as well, and you notice it as well. Slane gets on tippy toes. Blow the horns. Yeah. Okay, Thrill just jumps for the horn. Yeah. You, Elric, are like what? Yeah, I was gonna jump for the horn as well. Yeah. All right. We hear two horns blown, not at the same time, but slightly off. <laughs> one of you won. You can debate who did earlier. Tyrell has a higher movement speed than Slade. I did. Okay. You saw him first. Yeah. So complimentary. The rest of you. Oh, just said it was me. <laughs> whether the horn is what wakes you, or is or the stirring of the people. Um, many people have started bundling themselves up in all of their clothes and begin to peer out, like, the windows, um, just by the, the, uh, <clears throat> just by the southern wall, and, um, begin to head over and wander a little bit closer to the gates. The rest of you, what are you, what are you up to? You, you hear, you hear the horn. Yeah, what, so what is it? <clears throat> What's going on? I'll head over to the south. You're there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say shit. They're just blowing the horns. They didn't say anything. There's oh, people. They pointed out to you. <laughs> Do I see it? Um, I mean, by the time it gets closer, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, as soon as I hear the horn, I'll head over to wherever the horn came from. Okay. Um, it's coming from both Harold and Ragnis. I'm, well, it's both southern, so I'll head that way. I'm heading the Harold. All right. Are we in Harold or Ragnis? <laughs> <clears throat> um, well, I'll explain what begins to happen. So, for the people in the tower, like, the horn is blown, people, like, begin to, like, pull out arrows, they're like, oh shit, oh god, oh fuck, everyone's fr- flipping the fuck out, so, like, you are loading your crossbow truck, like, <laughs> we are gonna die! I pull out my wand. <laughs> yes. Until they start to wave their hands. She goes, she's a sign of aggression. Shoot them! Oh, okay. How many? How many people is it? Yeah. How many? People is it? Um. Right now, you cannot tell, but it appears to be over. And of course, I unprepared setting because I'm expecting the assault to happen. I bet it's a Jeez. secret party who trying to give us secret warning, and we just alerted everyone. <laughs> well. <clears throat> They had more flags of Braveheart. <laughs> <laughs> entire battalion burning. There Braveheart. appears to be over 50. Okay. It's a merchant caravan selling Braveheart flags. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> there are a couple on horseback. Uh, when they get, like, if no one else gets within time when they're within, like, mm-hmm. range of talking, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll shout out who is it, but... I'll oh, then... Yeah. Who goes there? Marco. Yeah. yeah. You, so it's like, you, you reach out like, like who, who goes there? And Gail Thorpe. Uh, oh. Gail Thorpe? Gail, Gail Thorpe. Mm. Gail Thorpe. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, open the gates. Open the gates. We're not opening the gates. That, that's not open a call the gates a little. <laughs> that's not a call <laughs> any of us are allowed to make. I'll oh. say eventually, though, like, <laughs> after people bicker, like, what, what's the spot? Because everyone assumes they are allies at the moment. So everybody instinctively is like, open the gates, open the gates, because you guys did not spread that information. Hold off until Gunner gets here. And or they're just like... Hold on until further introduction. Yeah. Okay. And and they, they'll they try and hold it off, but there's someone who's like, kind of argues with you. He's like, oh, they're their ally. And you're like, no, wait for Gunner. 
We are still under siege, nevertheless. Gunner. Does Gunner show up? Yes. Gunner eventually does, like, kind of make his that way over, and, and there are, like, <laughs> there are messengers running back and forth. They're just like, yeah, you've got, you've got the go. You can open up the gate. Okay. Yeah. Opening up the gate, then. We... Uh, do we have the stock in case it turns out there are 50 combatants in their city? <laughs> uh, uh. So, for the, um, for the rest of you, uh, the gate that lies between the watchtowers of Harold and Ragni struggles through the snow as it's heaved open by men on both sides, probably you guys as well, um, to... Uh... <laughs> Slinae is uh, dead weight for opening the door. Yeah, as someone pulls the rope behind you, it lifts your weight. <laughs> <laughs> Those not helping to open the gates are bickering and spreading the news, gossiping. Galthorpe, Galthorpe is here. Ooh. All right, <clears throat> Stonk, Rickard, Tavi, you guys eventually make it here as well, and you begin to see the commotion as they are opening up the gates. Tavi, you here. Galthorpe is here. Tavi, do you bring your cool ass new hammer? I mean, yeah, I have it, yes. Can do I... you bring your old hammer as well? You can't carry both yeah. of them. <laughs> got, What's got... going on, like, Sonai? I heard uh, talk of Gale Thorpe. You can't them, but you can't they, I'll say that while you're helping I, I, as I, much I, as you I, can. Sonai, you, you, you see Sonai. Stonk, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I see someone I know, I realize I'm not even helping, and I'll yeah. walk over yeah, to Stonk and okay. the others. Uh, some writers are here from... Uh, Supposedly Gail Thorpe. Okay. Are can we letting I, them can in? Gremlin yes. Yeah, they're it's point? opening right now. No. Hmm? I want a good vantage point, that's why. That's all I want. <laughs> okay, so you want to find a spot? <laughs> yeah. I'll say you find like a muddy we'll mound to kind of stand atop. That's like a little bit more on the back. You're not in the way, but you are watching. All right. I'm gonna stand on top towards the front of the gate as it's getting open. Okay, to like, like just a guard. Yeah, just a guard. Once you know people start coming in, I'll be like one of the first people they see. Right. I guess. Oh. <laughs> Marching. I'll be in range of sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> Marching. Through, you can do that because yeah. it's narrow. It's yeah. a narrow entryway. March. Gonna, I'll stay behind. Take stall. out that spirit. Take out. <laughs> Unearth our common tumble fighter time. I want you to kill. Yeah. I want you to kill him down the moment Tavi can watch. <laughs> yeah. Marching through the narrow walls are men dressed in furs, matted by mud and blood. Marching meekly through the gates, Gunner steps down from the walls outside, um, alongside of Sven and begins to, like, walk up to him and greet, and greet all of them, leading the group dressed in greens stained by recent battle. A man with an iron helmet steps down from a horse and reaches his hand out to Gunner. Odell, welcome to Bruvik. I'm really happy to see you. And Odell, <laughs> Odell just cries, I bet. Sven uh, pipes up a little bit. He's like, bring bring your men to the meat hall. We'll let them use the bathhouses and clean up, and, and we'll let them eat something. And they are all just kind of, like, being welcomed in. Bathhouses, right you say? Yes. <laughs> Can I roll an insight? Oh, there, on shit's gonna get wacky in there. Odell? Yeah. Okay. And just everything that's kind of going on. I want to see if they're being friendly or if they're... Uh, Faux friendly. Faux friendly. That's... <laughs> let me know when Odell sees me. <laughs> 15 insight. All right, fifteen insight. They're they they are soaked in blood and they're fucking tired. Okay, and they're happy to be here. Okay, it's a good I, sign. I I just have to be certain right now because we don't want a Trojan horse to do it. <laughs> yeah, they slaughtered all of Raybar. Raybar's dead. Odell <laughs> continues his chatter with the other noblemen, and his happens. eyes quickly glance <laughs> okay. under his helmet towards Tavi. Oh, he <laughs> his glare shifts a little bit, but he quickly snaps out of it and removes his helmet. A bald man with a thick goatee and a stern but tired face makes eye contact with Tavi again and nods his head. His eyes then turn to stonk. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> does he and he keeps moving. Does he take us off his helmet to look at Tavi approvingly, look at Stonk, and just put the helmet he looked, back he's on? More, it's more of a what the fuck face. Like, what are. How, how, how did you end up here, here of yeah. all places? How do you end up here? Why is Stonk still with you? <laughs> you haven't killed him yet? <laughs> yeah. I 
could have sworn Soleil, like, you know, sent a message to Odell. Is Soleil here too? Yeah, Probably should have informed him that. It's less of a what the fuck, like, oh, Tavi, like, you're all here. It's more of a, like, you're oh, here. You're I, here. Slimane may have told me, but I wasn't expecting to still yeah. see you. Yeah, exactly. Still weird to see you. Um, eventually, though, Gunner, uh, alongside Sven and some of the other um, soldiers, escort these uh, new bloodstained men into the uh, bathhouses where, you know, they remove their clothing and their armor and they begin to clean up and they are given something to eat from what little rations they currently have. Uh, some of the people at the meat hall protested a little bit. They're like, we don't have a lot of food to spare. And then for the most part, people are like, shut up. And then hey, they're fighting. They instantly creates food for 50 yeah. people. Instantly creates yeah. food. Are you going to do that for them then? Yeah, I'll make I'll make some food. Season the berries. <laughs> I'll can't say, afford to be picky. I will say unsettled, but yeah, can't afford to be picky. <laughs> um, people of uh, of Odell Rubik knows he's a, probably a little knows he's a cleric by this point. Yeah, no, Odell. No, I'm saying the the, the soldiers. Yeah. yeah, but uh, the people of Berubik are at least now hopefully used to me. Yeah, casting the, some, the, some yeah, the, the soldiers for the most part are a little <clears throat> hesitant, but um, all right. So, as everyone is getting ready, do you guys want to ask anyone in specific questions? Because right now they're all cleaning up. So, if you want to barge in and ask some questions about what happened, now's the time. Hunt down Odell. You know, they're winding down, so be patient. <laughs> but... <laughs> ask Odell first. Like, Tell me about your trauma. Why are you covered in blood, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> How many people did you kill to get here? Oh, that's... That many? That, that's funny. Rickard killed more in the tournament. Yeah. <laughs> Let's compare KD. <laughs> we never told Gun, uh, Odell we were going to the tournament, did we? No, no, no. because we didn't even know that was a I, thing. We're, we're the champions of we Evolve now. Because <laughs> I feel like we were going to do that, and then we didn't tell him because he would not let you stay with the party. If he you didn't want know. me to be mad! <laughs> it's an eight ball now, and half the party still wants a death. Yeah. Again, Odell never would have known. Yeah, yeah. Because yep. we got to Baruvik after Odell split off, and then we learned about the tournament in Baruvik. Tough. Are you gonna show your dad your um, cool new hammer? Yeah, probably. I'm gonna wait till like, he sits down first. <laughs> yeah, so he's <laughs> show and tell. Yeah, you give him some space to clean up first. Yeah, just, you just know, little... Odell cares about his appearance. You know, he let, let him clean up. He's, he's like hovering. The yeah. Tommy's hovering though. Yeah, <laughs> I really want to show you this. <laughs> Do you want to ask questions though? Anybody? Uh, probably. Okay. Um. Do a quick persuasion check just to see how much you get out of him. Uh, what is my persuasion? Come on, you're charisma. I think I proficient. You should be proficient. I am proficient. Yay. I just don't know which dice I can Slimane choose. being around would be a hindrance, otherwise I'd try to get the advantage. Yeah, uh, charisma. You know charisma. Are you, are you with me? Am I with you? Are you with me? Are you introducing me to your dad? <laughs> 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 you tell me, bro. I'm probably there, at least in the hall. That's that'd be so probably good, good maybe. Mm-hmm. Probably yeah. Sleep, I'll but... treat the wounded of the troop. Oh, well, All right. That's a 11 for an 18. All right. Wait, you have a plus seven? I do. Damn. I'm All right. So they basically tell you the whole the whole deal. Um, Odell and his men were situated around 5, 10, you know, 20 miles. They, they don't know the exact thing, uh, outside of Beruvik waiting for a signal to come in closer from Hilda. They betrayed the 40 men from Braybear after Odell feigned support in an attempted attack on Beruvik. Mm. Uh, 14 of their people died in the process. Dumb. Um, yeah, so that, that's what you figure out. 14 corpses, Rickard. Yo! <laughs> oh, not counting the 40... People Bray from Bray Bar they killed. 54 yeah. corpses, yeah. record. Can I ask what happened to the I can't wait to keep Stas with Pop. <laughs> he wasn't marching with them. Oh. He just was a faker. He was a wild card. Alright. Anything else? Okay. I should now run around see if anybody has like big wounds that need 
attention, but it's pretty nasty. Well. I'll say there there are some who's. Game. I'll say that there's one man <laughs> who ha- has a particularly gruesome wound across his stomach. However, his uh, his blood has frozen his leathers and his pelts to his wound. And people are in the process of helping... Th- I'll say Thyra, because Thyra would do this, just in the process of ripping it off. Oh. I'll, I'll be nearby and maybe give him like, a little lay on hands. Yeah. Okay. It's... It's bad, but they're alive. Good to melt it off slowly. Hmm? Good to just melt it off slowly, right? Star is dead. Cast heat metal. <laughs> <laughs> heat metal on leathers. Yep, exactly. <laughs> All those studs are gonna hurt like a bitch. <laughs> okay. I'll say you can assume, Toby, that Odell will eventually head back to speak with Gunner at his office. So if you want to go there by yourself, or you want to bring everyone else there as well... Oh god, you bring everybody, it would be a bad idea. You want to bring me? You should bring me. Why not, Stuck? I I want to meet Odell. Uh, I I want to overhear this conversation. Okay, so everyone's coming. (laughs) I've never met more heroes. I I I did, after I, like, cast the create food and drink for everyone yeah. in the call. I actually just bring went bring ahead and went to Gunners nice. knowing that that's where they're eventually I hope there's a misunderstanding. Meet. You're you're sitting <laughs> 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 I've never no, the, the only two yeah. I will have are, should, are you As soon as you give that idea to Lauren, two? Lauren's going to use it. I think it's already in Lauren's head. What, what is it? The misunderstanding is that Tavi introduced me to Tyler specifically said the only two who have met Odell are you. He probably did. I mean, like Tavi you probably didn't call like Tom. No, did, did Odell misunderstand friendship from I've got a girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, he might. <laughs> um, okay, so at this point, um, uh, Odell, alongside of a couple, you know, close companions and good good fighters, walk in the room alongside of you guys, um, and Gunnar is sitting at his desk, and he's just like, well... Yeah, like, t- t- tell me what happened. And Odell says basically the same story, but a little bit, you know, more technical, detailed, detailed well thought out. Mm-hmm. And he mainly talks about how he fears what's going to happen to his sister because he uh, he knows, he did this because he knows that Nyal won't hear about it. Because they made sure to kill everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he, Odell's like, I have limited time here. Did they find Laris by any chance? Do you... Uh, honestly, yeah, Gunner will probably ring all the time. Did you see Laris? They're like, yeah, Laris is alive, but contained. <laughs> For the best, really. Yeah. He's like in, like, iron chains. Yeah. <laughs> it's an SCP containment. <laughs> <laughs> you should send sending Laris to see how he's doing. I don't have sending prepared now. Oin. I unprepared for the fact that we're about to be in a siege. All right, anything you guys wish to say or do? I want to introduce us to your dad. <laughs> it's complicated right now. <laughs> he hurt my feet these last time we spoke. <laughs> hurt my feelings. Wait, they say where they're heading after this? They're they're here to help. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I, I kind of just want to overhear Odell's and uh, Gunner's conversation. Okay. Really yeah, it, it basically sums up to that. Like, yes, Laris is okay. Like, like he's like, Gunner is very relieved that Odell is here. Odell does not want to be here, <laughs> but he feels like he has to be. What does Gunner share about um, the situation here? Then? Bad. He, basi- he, he basically sums it up and says, like, uh, yeah, we are down a lot of, you know, livestock and food right now. We were fully prepared <laughs> for the winter. However, one-fifth of our livestock and food just magically disappeared one day, and no one knows why. And but he, he doesn't say that. He kind of explains, like, in a, like we, we had to make a really difficult bargain with, like, some ice trolls, you know. One of them claims that they can control the weather, and the other two are, like, very, very powerful and will definitely help. You know, in the defense, he's like, we only have two druids. We have no idea how many Hilda has. And he just kind of goes off about how, like, we have no idea what Hilda's Does, does like. he mention the, the fam? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not I mean, yet. He doesn't mention why we're here. Um, yeah, guys just, Odell's like, who the fuck are these guys? Stonk will speak up at some point. Um, so, do we have to fear of an attack on the south? 
Not one I'm aware of. Well, that is good news. Makes our life a little bit easier. See, send pipe up. What about the man last night? That's a good question. Odell turns. What? What man? Oh, no. (laughs) A man was burning the flag of Raybar just outside the south wall. South south wall. What? Does it mean anything to you? Odell kind of froze his breath. Survivor. I I should have taken the fucking shot! (laughs) (laughs) A survivor from Babe Raybar went to burn his own flag in front of the enemy? Odell is as confused as you guys are, but that's where his brain went. Maybe he went out to, like, he was told to go out and, like, intimidate us, and so he left the camp, and then Odell and his group, like, killed everyone while he was away, and now he's gonna come back to the camp and be like, hey what guys. happened? <laughs> um, well, maybe not secure in the South, then. Mildly secure. Odell was just like, Odell came in, he's just like, yeah, my plan worked, we killed them, and now he's just like, oh my god. (laughs) Maybe I fucked up. Oh, fuck. Does Odell still have the deathly poison? I don't fucking know. You want to ask him about? I mean, you would know. I would know. Only three of you would know. I'm not asking that now. I'm not asking that in front of people who don't need to know that. (laughs) Um, Tommy, do you want your first conversation with your dad to be like, do you have death poison? Can I borrow it? (laughs) No. And he's still got Uncle Death of Isle sitting around. <laughs> Good old Uncle Arnie. <laughs> Uncle Arson. I guess guys like Odell, you used to work with Hilda. Do you you probably know her weaknesses? Can you help us out with strategy? Yeah, yeah, I'll help. I'll help the best I can. And uh for the most part, they get shit started. Time to plan. You guys ready? Boy. Kelly. Alright, oh so for the most part, I don't plan on being super roleplay about it. It's just going to be a, you know, throwing out ideas. Because, like I said, just because your character's a dum-dum doesn't mean that your character came up with the idea. So that lets Josh participate. Yeah. Because <laughs> if we did this all through roleplay, Josh would just be sitting there like, uh, uh, uh. When do I get tell me with the, the smack things? What if I hit them with a glaze? <laughs> yes, thank you, Stalk. Yeah, no problem. Does Hilda have uh, resistance to bonk? <laughs> Odell um, states that he has 13 trained berserkers and 50 trained soldiers. Hmm. So, uh, that's nice. Beruvik, um Gunner states, has a total of 30 trained berserkers, 15 trained archers, and 160 more trained soldiers. They have 200 random citizens learning how to use swords and bows right now. They should be letting spears. Do you want to try training no. again? <laughs> that makes Baruvik's army spears. around spears 480 right people Why? and three ice trolls. Because we're holed up on and top of a wall. Fan. Spears are practically worthless at this point. Oh, they're mostly teaching people how to use bows and arrows, but mm-hmm. you still need fundamentals, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at that point, just use a sword because it's going to be close quarters. Spears are best used in an open field. They're not using spears. Though. I know. No, I was saying. Chris was saying oh, yeah, spears. But They're best I used in an open field. I think swords in this situation are still bad. They're using axes. They're terrible. Hand yeah. axes is, are what people are If you've gotten use. to the point that you have to pull out your sword or melee weapon, you're, you're already, already fucked. fucked. Yeah. Do you, your goal is to take down as many people with you as you can. Yeah. If, 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 the, if the townspeople have to get in close quarters, that's, that's game over. Yeah. Um... I mean, my main plan uh, consists of creating traps all over the place. Spells are going to be really powerful um, in shaping the battlefield. Um, Um, I have Glyph of Warding as well. So we're having... But I need someone else to be able to put a better... We're not role-playing, but in character we're all sitting around the table chatting this all up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, For hours. Do you want to leave? (laughs) I'm just thinking... I know somebody who would have seen the procession through town and who will be busting down that Oh, no, door no, no. Anyway. Eventually they will come in. Just give, give them a moment. <laughs> a moment. I'm just like, oh, oh no. I, I would just need someone to put, like, a better spell inside of the glyph once I cast it. 
What are you doing? Sorry. I have Glyph of Warding, so someone else can put a spell within it. I think you have to be the one to put the spell in it. It's just you cast the spell Glyph of Warding and you put another spell within it. I think anyone can do it. a different spell. Or am I thinking of a very different spell? I think Glyph of Warding is a... Glyph of Warding you can put a spell into, but... You decide what triggers it. Glyph's inscribed with a common item. Once it's triggered, the spell ends. Um, object. You expose a uh, spell glyph. You can. It has to be third or lower. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um. Inflict wounds. You have to cast it as a part of it. So you okay. can store. It has to be you. Okay. But don't worry, you're not the only one with glyph of warning. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a spell. We need to set up a station which is a bunch of glyph of warning hastes. <laughs> <laughs> Get your haste. Get your haste. So as they're kind of like discussing the, you know, the numbers of the whole thing, eventually, Tyler, someone kicks the door down. And Idun, alongside of her family, not counting um, your sister. I would have anticipated this and sat in the most inconspicuous spot. In the corner. You're just kind of like leering in the corner. Um, and hit by the door, so. they eventually walk in, and they come walking in with the nine-year-old girl alongside of, appears to be a child no more than a th- uh, three years old. There's another one! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either Ethun, no, sorry, Ingeborg, one of the Ingeborgs, either the nine-year-old or the old one, or your mother are, like, go on shifts, like, passing the baby back and forth, who is, um... A little fussy, but not causing too much. I'm in the corner processing. Yes. <laughs> okay. Does Odell say who? What the fuck? Who are these people? He he like turns around. He's like, who the fuck are these people? It's just like, Psst, don't worry, I got it. He does not have it. <laughs> he does not have it. <laughs> Gunner's never once had it in his life. Gunner and Thyra are actually going to while well, everyone is bickering and discussing ideas. Pull Terrell aside. Um, they they basically say, like, hey, like, you and Thyra, we need people, like, patrolling outside of the Western Wall, specifically around the Watcher's Mound. And they're like, could you and Thyra, like, scout throughout the day and night, like, just that area, just to see if you see anyone? Yeah. Okay. You can, um, wild shape four hours at a time, twice a day. They are going to want every second of it. Okay. Okay. They'll start rounds in the morning. Um, I'm just gonna run through some of the ideas I have. Yeah, go ahead. Um, just so that I can get them out of the way. Uh, starting off, trees close to the wall, they need to be taken down. I think most Already of them on are. It. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we just need to remove any sort of cover that the enemy can use. Yep, that's what they were chopping up into firewood. Um, Pog. Others. And reinforcing the wall. Uh, the, the traps I can use to mold earth to... I still think Absolutely. that Hilda's camp is going to be put on Watcher's Mound, because yep, it's a nice agrees. big clearing. Um, I think that means that when we Gunner need, says need to do scouting, that's going to be the first place you're going to want to check out, yep. because yeah. that's where they will probably set up. Sven states that in clear weather, it can look over Berubic. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be a bad do, thing for us. Do but we want to put a bunch of pins in the mound? Mm-hmm. Just make it. A bunch of They'll still use sticks. it, but make Bougie it less, less of a desirable Bougie spot. Sticks. I saw that. I'm like, yes, yes. Do, do you it. like those wires that prevent birds from perching places? Oh. <laughs> Hostile architecture, the mission. <laughs> Uh, that would water. be the druids. The fucking feminine would do that. <laughs> um, do we have a way to fireproof the walls by any chance? Uh, yeah, it's yeah. fresh you, trees that we put fresh in, so they're going to be trees. Resi- better yeah. resistant. Okay, to- I'll say you that... You just gotta kill them before they can get close yeah. to the walls and start doing pipes the, up. The sea- Sorry. Yeah, go, no, go ahead. For the yeah. siege machines, or what yeah. we um, the I forget in which... Sibling, wait, wait. Yeah. Ingeborg. Yeah, yes. Ingeborg, oh yeah. So you definitely you, have to ask her to do that. You say that Idun pipes up and states, like, mm-hmm. uh, Elric 10 can reinforce the walls with ice and stone, and that will make them resistant to fire. Um, he says that um, Inga 
Your mom is Inga 4? You think? Yeah, Inga no, 4. I think she might be Inga 6. No, she's, no, 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 she's, she's Inga 5. She's 4. You're, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so she's 5. This is Inga Borg. I'll, I'll, check the, I'll, check the, I'll check the record. No, it's, it's Inga 5. Because your sister's six, right? Yeah. I mean, this is a big issue. There's a lot of people sharing the same name. Okay, sister is six, mother is five, okay. and then we, we don't care about the other Ingas. <laughs> All right, he says that Inga five can assist in using hallucinatory terrain. Mm-hmm. All yeah. right. Um, he says Ingeborg knows how to create glyphs of warding and will be in charge of destroying siege weapons. Mm-hmm. Pretty illusionary terrain. Could we use that on the... The bit that had the, the higher, I've already forgotten the name. It's too far away, but okay. that's multiple miles away from okay. Ruben. It's got a range of 300 feet, which is very significant, but it's really going to be just for... you got to use it at the wall. At the yeah, wall. Yeah. Um, it does we, last a day, though. What, what would the terrain lasts a lot. I can say, we can't What's hide that? every um, pit trap. It so we hallucinate train so that uh, some of the pit traps are still obvious, and then there are other fake Sorry. pit traps, oh, so yeah. I yeah. never know train. what pit trap but is a pit because trap. Because you're not an illusion wizard <coughs> who can actually make hallucinatory uh-huh. terrain a threat, your main benefit is going to be controlling where they go. Yeah. So you place, you know, little obstacles that are not actually there, but they assume it's there because they suck at intelligence saving throws or whatever. And, and so they will avoid those obstacles they think are there, and they'll go into wherever you want it to be, and then we hit them when they get into those kind of crowded areas. And so your main benefit is just kind of controlling the flow. Now, assuming you don't change everything, some of the obstacles I see are real obstacles. Mm -hmm. So they have to test every obstacle. Traps in the ground, you can make it appear that there is nothing nothing there. You can just have it be look like a flat expanse of snow, and then they step in it and fall into a trap. Right. Um, so hallucinatory terrain, very powerful Even in this when situation. Even someone does notice it, they, other people still have to meet the DC to go past it, because their track won't show up in the hallucinatory terrain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, so, if one person goes, hey, it's all, it's, it's all fake, then the rest of them can... You know, make, make, the the save, check, make the check, yeah. But if they fail but if they the check, fail it, they, they still can't, can't see, see through it. Yeah, yeah they, they can know it's not real. They know it's not still... real, but they don't know what what, what, what is and what yeah. isn't real. Yeah. Uh, we're playing mind games with them now. Yeah. Yes. Can I ask Odell if he has the little thing that we gave to him back in Elder Guard? Now you want to ask now in front of everyone? I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna say specifics, but does he have the thing that we gave him in Elder Guard? He is just going to look at you and says, we'll talk about that later, Toppy. Uh, I don't need an insight. The answer is he has it on him right now. I'm definitely bringing up the idea of Poonji Sticks and also Poonji Sticks covered. Strategies Poonji where... Strategies. Does Rickard bring this up? Absolutely. Okay. And especially how you sometimes want them upside down so that way you get their foot no. stuck in the hole and then it wedges it into their leg. In- Ingeborg <laughs> like pipes up and she's just like, I could make them rig to explode. Let's do it. <laughs> and then she's just like, okay, sweet. sweet. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're just making IED. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you and Ingeborg are making bombs. <laughs> I think you two would be a power couple. <laughs> For better or worse. <laughs> Too dangerous when left yeah. alone. Um, you also have access to wall of water, <laughs> and I discussed this with Lauren, uh, and I think we came to the decision I agreed that, that it would work. Wall of water into tsunami can work. I, I said that that yeah. would work if you You'd you be can't using cast two them all high at level once, spell but... slots to do it. However, that's extremely strong. You use wall because of water. you are you use wall create of water. the wall. They all think, oh, okay, it's cool. It's just a wall of water. <gasps> you it, and then you push the wall of water into them. <laughs> that's like that's like day two shit. Yeah. And that's really reason- awesome because it's liter it's it's using there are a lot of spells that take a long time to cast in D&D, but none that take like multiple rounds to pass. I kind of like the idea of it being slow. Mm-hmm. And um you can push them back into traps as well. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, oh wait, never mind, I can't do that. Never. And the water would then freeze and turn into an ice field. Well, but right. I can't yeah. control the wind. No, no, Does like, the family no. train the combat? It's abilities? already going to be difficult like, terrain. Now it's just going to be slippery abilities. terrain. Yeah. So your your father appears to be more like he's going to reinforce the wall. Like he has like wall, a stone, you know, ice, that sort of thing. Going to fuck with the wall. Um, 
Your ant is going to be focused on destroying high priority big targets, like trolls probably, and siege weapons. Um, your mother is probably going to be focused on the hallucinatory <laughs> terrain shit and going to be, you know, keeping that in check. Um, your, the, the nine-year-old random relative and three-year-old are not partaking in the war, in case you weren't aware. And what your grandma's doing has not been discussed. Uh, I'll, they I'll be, can walk, they can I, draw. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the one to ask, uh, what, what are you doing? How do you ask it? That's important. Yeah. Uh, I mean, just like, like, while everyone's, like, discussing their stuff and, like, turning, turning to the grandma and what, what can you do? Like, not necessarily, like, in a rude way, but just, like... I will go and get done what I need to get done. <laughs> They're fighting. <laughs> but she, she basically, like, very intently says, like, if I need, if someone needs me, they will tell me, I will get it done. Okay. Sven! What? Ordered the production of more skis. So, uh, he is more focused on the offense and is like, we should send, like, scouts out there to get as much intelligence about, like, Hilda's army as possible, mm -hmm. because they have no idea what, yeah. like, what she has in stock. Thank you, Mocha. Uh, I can give someone, uh, make someone sneakier for an hour as well. You have to be with them. No, I don't. You have to be with them. Yes, you do. That pass without a trace, yes. Not this for my, uh, trace. not for my oh, it's trickery earmuffs. domain earmuffs. I also I think have the, just give the them... horns that I have that, um... No, you sacrificed those. Oh, yeah, I did. It, no. I yeah, don't. don't worry. Someone's gonna ask you what they did, what you did with their gift later. Oh. <laughs> that would be amazing. I lost them. Oh, Sorry. No. Whoopsie. Oopsie and so doopsie. Sven is, uh, has, like, the ideas of, like, we need to gain as much intelligence about them as one at once. Like, I... So he got skis, basically, to allow for fast travel throughout the snow. And Gunner is more focused on, like, okay, but what are we going to be doing inside the walls? Okay. I don't think uh, I'd be the one to bring this up, but someone should probably mention, like, hey, when they get here, you should scout their camp as a bird to figure out how many druids they have, because that's really important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can do that, yeah. Uh, Thyra will... Make sure of scouting. Thyra will point out, you can't really tell them apart, because they're people. But... <laughs> there are some. There some are some will be casting magic and shit. I also just want to see. Oh, while well, they're sitting at their camp, probably not. Unless you catch catch it every once in a while, but. But I mean, then I could also just tell, like, that if they have any supplies coming in. Yeah. And yeah. how many people are at camp and how many people look for people, waves. Look for people playing no around with mistletoe. If they're at camp, I'm gonna be very sad. But you'll be able to tell them out very quickly. Mm -hmm. And you've given us our targets, if that's the case. <laughs> no, it's, they're go um, well, listen, they're fighting for the Afnordians. They're, they're traitors. Inside the wall, what, what, could you uh, reiterate what our food situation is? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, um, what I told you earlier. You leave her alone. I'm trying to get my... Ed was grabbing his dice. Okay. She's being aggressive right now. Do you want to put her down? <laughs> Let me just get her off the table. Oh gosh. You said she hasn't eaten? Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna feed her in a moment here once I'll let you guys role play, but. I'll I, get her. You got it? I got it. Okay. Come on, Mocha. I, yeah. I would like to know the food situation as well. Yeah, so I'll pull that up right here. Well, um, because. 80% because someone made a deal. Um, because winter has begun, the ice trolls got paid, there isn't much living livestock left. Uh, they're struggling because the ice trolls cut their, their stockpile for the winter down. Um, the city would have probably had an average winter, um, before the ice trolls came around, so they've had to cut their rations, so they're eating 80% less than what they're supposed to throughout the winter. Um, they can survive on their own for a few months. Like winter. Shouldn't it be 20% less? Sorry, so that's what I meant to say. They're eating 80% of what they're supposed to be eating. Um, and then this is concerning for Beruvik. However, they've experienced famine during winters before. They just expect the winter to end. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Do you well, want, do you want to mention this winter will end? No, I'm not going to tell them that. I think there would be a lack of hope if I told them that. That's why we have a look at there is afterwards. one person here who knows that, because where you heard the word oh, was the ice troll. It's the ice troll at the meeting? 
No. However, Gunner mentions the party's going to need to speak to her just to see how willing she is to change the weather. Because she has stated that she does not, that she's more powerful in the cold. Well, it's good to know that they are. It's fucking freezing. We could make it colder. Um, colder could be we better. We should also, um, could be someone, better after we avalanche. Someone should bring up the idea right. that while, um, like, people aren't, like, soldiers and whatnot aren't training and, like, are on, like, their downtime not doing rotations mm-hmm. and whatnot, we should have as many people fishing from that frozen, like, like ice fishing as possible mm-hmm. to, like, increase the amount of food we've got. They say that they are currently mm-hmm. in the process of doing that, however, they don't want to overfish. Okay. Well, we're fishing have a choice. Well, yeah, way, way to be eco friendly in these yeah. t- dangerous times. It's almost like they're thinking about their future. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. How do they even have the concept of overfishing understood right now? They have a lake with a fresh stream, always bringing in new uh, creatures. So they shouldn't have an issue with stock. Um, it's, unless they have industrial fishing equipment. No, it's because the lake is, like, frozen in, like, pockets. hmm So, like, you, you, you'll fish in one spot until it's dry. Then you go, they, they understand the process of, like, Rotating. you can fish a place dry. They, mm-hmm. they know that. So when I say overfishing, like, they aren't using the word overfishing. They're just like, like, we're trying to find spots, but. Okay. Any sort of spells that could help us find, uh, new pockets? I'm not really sure, um, but it might be something worth looking into. Yeah, do you have anyone yeah. locate creature on uh, fish? Divining, <laughs> I, yeah. divination spells in general. Oh yeah, they can uh, uh, augury. Augury. Thirty minutes. Will I catch a fish here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's an action. Yeah, the, the, and the like, most valid use of the spell. Someone here who has rune stones who can cast that at will. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> to real, that's your when you're not wild shaping and you're standing out in the middle of the blizzard. Will I catch fish here? Dumps runes on the ground. Also, I no. Picks them up a again. ritual spell as well. Yep. So, ten I minutes. can take it and or just ritual minute. cast it. Uh, it. I assume it's a ten. Uh, it's no, going to, no, you minutes. cannot. You, that, that's Terrell's thing, the rune stones. You can't. No, I'm saying I can ritual cast it, just like. That's a cleric oh, spell. It's a cleric spell. Yo, oh, no, no, I'm just, I thought you said, like, I would use Terrell's item to just no, cast no, 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 it over no, 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 and over I was again. I'm like, you can't do that. It takes 11 <laughs> minutes to ritual cast. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's actually not that bad, all things. Yeah, that's better than t- I was waiting like, fishing. That's, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just sliding across the ice. I'm like, no, no, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> I lost the Thor room. <laughs> I will never know if we can catch fish here. <laughs> so I'll say, I'll say that that you guys are signed up for that as okay. well to you know swap seek, spells seek out fish. That is sort it, of thing. Is it, uh, that's the first level. It's a second level. Spell. Okay, I can't do shit. You're on your own. I'm assuming that there is no possible way that they are um, producing food, as in like uh, crops, because it's too cold. No, no stockpile. Yeah. No greenhouses. And how's the stockpile for crop food? It average. Average. Okay. Because we only promised the livestock, not the grain. Yeah. Yeah. Mushroom. But the livestock was what. This town. That's what they always eat. more mushrooms. <laughs> always more mushrooms. Listen. We can make them snow cones with shaved ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they want ice. <laughs> There's too much. Gunner specifically said, hey, use our livestock as barter, and you sent the nobody. He did not say that. He did he, say, he use did livestock. Say, well, oh, no. We asked. Oh, yeah, not, okay, not. He didn't pick. say one fifth of the livestock. Yeah. That's he ridiculous. Didn't, he didn't give us a number to go in with. Yeah. And that was his mistake. <laughs> he trusted the cat man to figure it out. Oh, we probably should have done one seventh would have been a reasonable n- amount, but here we they are. They can't do math, so. Yeah. <laughs> Explain it in a way that they could understand. Trolls, what's a seven? <laughs> one out of every seven. Alright. They heard one eighth, so they just took like Like eight, twelve. Eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> um or no they eight cows per a troll. One eighth. Honestly, but, yeah, that'd be decent. That's no, they they understood. Unfortunately, unfortunately they were smart. They did no basic math. Yeah, unfortunately but, I think uh he, Mikhail was trying to be Accommodating by explaining. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Anything else? Specific ideas? Um, well, I don't think that we're going to have any issues with tunneling because no. yeah. I don't think they're going to do that. But if we were to encounter something like that, okay, cool. best way to deal with that is to light a fire and burn out all the oxygen yep. so that they suffocate. 
Yep. Um, do, 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 do. When they get there as well, um, we should have some people who who are who are sneakier go in and disrupt some of their stuff as well. I know that's already been discussed, but just like to have like an actual like yeah. you know, If I am scouting as an eagle, mm-hmm. can I take one of the bombs that you've been making? <laughs> <laughs> and you notice and and drop, drop them. <laughs> Ingeborg types up and says, I will have a proposition as well. Mm-hmm. And she goes, first off, none of the letters you've been receiving, Gunner, have been any good news, so I say we stop sending them. And I say we stop receiving them, too. And he's like, what, what are you talking about? He's like, if we attach these, and she pulls out, like, a small little piece of paper <laughs> to the birds, <laughs> they will shoot them down, assuming <gasps> that they are letters. But they are not. Would anyone like to open it? And she, she, she moves it forward. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> another glyph of warning. Well, another glyph of warning. Don't worry, I'll resist this one <laughs> too. Do you, want, do you want to do it? Cover? You're not going to take any damage today. Do you just want to do it for fun? You just make to prove her day. A point. You would love. Yes. She would love you. Okay. And we I'll step. Back. I'll say everyone at first is like, no, no, let's not, let's not do it. And then, assuming you're all done speaking, you can pull her aside and be like. Do you want to test it? Yeah, sure. <gasps> okay. And so you both go outside, she hands it to you, and she runs like 30 feet away. Mm-hmm. Okay, whenever you're ready. I would like to also watch this. Yeah. I would love to watch this. Peaking. It's a dex check for Stones this, right? And yep. uh, right. Uh, and it's with her DC, too, so. Right. Oh, no. It's going to be. She's hardcore. I, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You had advantage. But I will share it Oh, she's my favorite part of the family. Wow. Don't worry. Oh. I'm bad at rolling. Um, yeah, I'll be using Stone's Endurance for sure. So what did you roll? Uh, collective? Yeah. Ten. <laughs> Alright, that is 5d8, because you definitely fail that. Yep. Oh, it's stones, actually not that much. Stone's Endurance. Yep. I could do my Rage, too, if I wanted. But then I would have to roll a d12. <laughs> do it! Alright, yeah. you, you take... 16, it can really be any type of any type of uh, damage. So I'll say that it's it's flame. Alright, so I take uh, 9 damage. That's more than last time you that took That is four. more than last time. <laughs> to be fair, last time I was raging. I didn't yeah. rage this time. Because we don't want you As to rage As it blows right up now. in your face and it just <laughs> and it just engulfs. If you had hair... I would have It'd only taken one damage if I had raged this time. <laughs> it, the, uh, if you had any hair, it would be gone, right? Thankfully, I'm an egg. So, th- yeah, thankfully you are an eggman, and as, like, the, the flame kind of goes over you, and you're just like, oh, r- brush off. Brisk. How was it? Good idea. And she's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, and at some point they'll stop shooting the birds down. And then you can send And then we can send can. real letters and messages. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two birds carrying IED. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think that was a plan by the CIA to basically <laughs> no, attach it a, bombs it to bats. bats. Yes. Yeah, the bat bomb. That was her plan. Yeah. She wanted to create bird bombs. Silly, can we make a gay bomb? It's oh. Fucking... <laughs> Don't worry, I got that. <laughs> He got Trill just picks him up as a giant. Right. We're syphilis. <laughs> Dead, unfortunately. Oh, it's pretty mean biological warfare. <laughs> Is that all for you guys then? Um, I've oh, run through most of mine. Wait a minute. Only other stuff is... That's not a bad idea, though. Do you, do you don't, you don't, you don't bring up Carcanos at any point, right? No, 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 right? not that. I'm, I'm not, not bringing up Carcanos. That's just going to be the, that's going to be the fun, the fun surprise. We, we Rick could. Rick surprise. Find their water supply. Because they're going to be limited on the water that they have with you them. just have to know. Druids. But if we poison the water they've brought with them, oh, they would have to waste more magic on creating fresh water, weakening their druids and their other speak. casters. Wait, what's that? Wait, it's that word. You'd have to get someone to sneak in and do that. That's I mean, that was already the plan. Was okay. Some of us are already sneaking in. <laughs> Yeah, but Gunner's gonna be like sneaking in multiple times is a huge stretch. Okay. Like that that's gonna be a one or one or two time thing, like per camp, you know? Yeah. Anything else? 
Hang on. I don't really have much else. Is the Ingeborgs reminding me of Hulk of Kiev? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, they're similar people. <laughs> Everyone, I just want I just want a pigeon. Just give me a pigeon. <laughs> Set the I pigeons think I on know fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck, I now I remember who she is. I'm like, that name reminds me of something, but I don't know why. You can watch the puppet yeah, talent she... video after this. Yeah. <laughs> she was a, wasn't she sainted? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Saint <laughs> Olga of Kiev. Insane. Insane. <laughs> Moving on. No, that does, wasn't insane. Does he the even have any more hot takes for us? Um, no. Yeah. Okay. Only other things I would even bring up are what I told Stonk on the on in the tower. This yeah. Basic also, battle yeah. strategies Don't on forget, top of Pooji sticks. Oh, yeah. I can't bring this up, but someone needs to bring up uh, you know, psychological warfare sitting oh, on top of walls think, and yeah, that, that, food. Is, that is yeah. Rickard's suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Through and that's through. a Rickard suggestion. That's the psychological warfare of. Having a feast on the wall and just having uh, just having a magical shield of some sort. You don't even or, need a shield, really. Just, no, just I just want to make sure we don't get shot. That's fair. I, I can make the f- the food that I conjure look as appetizing as possible. Hey, if someone has warding wind, <laughs> we'll be yeah. fine. I'm, that's a, that's a sorcerer spell. I'm sure one of us, one of my I family, has it. <laughs> yes, yeah. just as long as someone it's, gets warding oh, wind, we can oh, have a feast. A windy feast on top of the wall. <laughs> It's, it's, yep. it's heckin' whimpy up here. Would it smell good to your food? Oh, uh, it's really um, bland. I'll say it Does... doesn't state how good or bad you can make it look. I, I understand the... I would say you'd need more illusion magic to make it look more than... My mom's an illusionist. Yeah. It, Easily you, you, would, you would need to add okay. something on top of that. You can't make yeah. it look like a Also, I'm okay. sure we can spare some spices and yeah. some... I mean, just, like you said earlier, yeah. we can just have it be styrofoam. You can styrofoam. spruce it up, yeah. yeah. Like, we can literally just make have, this... You have styrofoam Jesus. and you toss some spice in the fire. So we can take nice. garbage, turn it into something that looks... Yeah, I don't know who said 50 humanoids. It's 15. I said 15 the whole time. It's 45 pounds of food. 50. No, and 30 pounds of water. Which, the water... It. Can still be used for other things as well. That's chlorine gas. Oh, do we bring oh up God. the tossing water pots on the enemy to make them freaking chlorine like gas? Yeah. Oil? Someone, someone brings Okay, it up. apparently bleach goes back to 300 BC, so yeah. if we pee in containers of bleach and drop it on them, we can just have to. Yeah, that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is. Oh, are we if collect- we're a chemist, I allow it. <laughs> are we collecting oh. chamber pots of biological. <laughs> Well, we need it anyway for the I don't sticks. think the Geneva Convention is a thing <laughs> yet. <laughs> Geneva well, I mean, suggestion. The thing is that we should, should be collecting... Geneva hasn't been born yet. We should be connect, collecting the piss of everyone in town anyways for the traps we're setting up. If they happen to mix, great. But this isn't something we're not any reasonable person, even with 20 Intelligence, would come up with, Rick unless the idea of chemistry was already Rick a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Did That's all their arrows right. and shit, so even if it glances off, it still causes <laughs> Yeah. I don't, you're not going to be able to get everyone con- on that idea, but I'd say, like, you, you can convince a couple people that's you, a good idea. You can find the psychopaths in the army that shit on their own hands. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just, just all we gotta do is we just have a we just have a shit and circle in some area of the also, town. Also, Chris, <laughs> you don't have to use human shit. You can use any shit. Like but cow human, shit is very. Sheep. Why would you use human or, or, shit? Troll shit or rotten food? Troll food. Troll shit, yeah, rotten food also works. Rotten food works. Yeah. I, I was just thinking of extra, like, you know, using as yeah, much just, as possible. Cause I just think any... Funny, you just make like a you have gross to spot. <laughs> yeah. Just make a gross spot, you stick your sharp things in there. <laughs> and you have one arrow covered in God. Put poison. a bee on it. <laughs> Hope they're allergic. Okay. <laughs> Stick, stick all of your arrows in, like, wasps and bee nests and shake it for a bit and we're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fire arrow, they chase after the arrow. Uh... Right. No, it takes like the actual like that's what you used to do to poison the arrow tips. Tavi, I will give you attunement with your weapon now because you yeah. you've had it for multiple hours. Hi. You're just hugging it the entire meeting. Yeah. 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 Yahoo! Yahoo! Look at your reflection in it. Tavi, you have a plus ten to attack. <laughs> oh god. Two D six plus seven. <laughs> You need to take That's a down. fucking monster. Yeah. <laughs> you need to take Great Weapon Master. You'll be oh, yeah. I think I have it. You don't have Great Weapon Master, you have Crusher. 
No, I'm talking. Wait. Or you'll get it next one. When... You have the you have the thing that lets you re-roll, but it's not Great Weapon Master. Great Weapon Master yeah. lets you take a minus five to for hit a plus ten damage. For a plus ten damage. Yeah. And also you get an extra attack if you manage to get a crit or right. uh kill. And or is that great weapon fighting? I think I guess you should like also ones and twos. Yeah. Never mind. That that that's much again. Never mind. Don't don't miss it too. Or if you do the range version, you can ignore three quarters cover. Hey, I have that. I yeah, anyway, that Tavi, Tavi's a monster in the front line now. Yippee! No, no, I don't. It's different character. <laughs> Nerd. Oh, no, I see. <laughs> you see? The arrowhead of total destruction. So I'm now Unfortunately, we don't have the ingredients. Yeah, we don't, ha- we don't have one of the ingredients. Yeah, we don't have the ingredients for that, but that would be the best IED. Do we have a bag of holding? Yeah. We have a bag of, a de- of something else. Devouring. Would a bag of devouring work <laughs> okay. with Okay, what happens if you shoot at the bag of devouring a Dukat? <laughs> doesn't it split? Doesn't it spit out everything? Uh, I think I think it just destroys the bag. It destroys yeah, the Yeah, because I was about to be like, that's a lot of bodies in that bag. <laughs> yeah. It likes, it likes to them. eat people. Have you been feeding that thing? Yeah, uh, it's... Well. It, 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 it's it's been a while, so it's extra ravenous. Yeah, it's it's upset right now. Mm. So what I'm hearing is much like you, e- Mocha. It's gonna be extra hungry. right Let now. me guess. She's gonna be a sweet little lovey baby now. Mm-hmm. Now that she's eaten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just have the bag inside out wrapped around my hand, so I just like boom, <laughs> the bag gets less inside out. Oh god! <laughs> All right. And then you turn it as yes. you're getting to munch. That's a horrifying idea. For I think a if so long as you stick a hand, <laughs> so long as a hand goes in, I found the a valid use for a monk. <laughs> I think so long as a hand goes in, the back, they can't get that hand back out. Well, that's why you put in, you put your hand in once inside out. Yeah, and then doesn't, unwrap while you're holding the end. Doesn't turn the inside out kill it? Uh, I, I think it just uh, empties any contents that aren't be aren't all the way devoured. That's within the last twenty four hours. So it's right? like a doggy bag. Simple. You just kind of. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're doing. The doggy oh. bag of devouring. <laughs> <laughs> How's, how's Loki doing? I don't know. Loki's doing great. Loki's having a wonderful Borch. time. You can put people in there. <laughs> <laughs> it says that. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. If the bag is pierced or torn, it or it, or torn, it is destroyed, and anything contained within it is transported to random location on the astral plane. So you would you would have. Like, really oh god, we'd be littering the... <laughs> You're littering the astral plane. Awesome. How much trash did we see there? Wait a second. <laughs> Hear me out. You run up to Hilda, you put the bag over her head, and then you stab the bag. <laughs> you send her head to the astral plane. Wow. Without her body. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Pretty talented. You yeah, pretty place to die. So yeah, that's conscious. insane. Though I'd say that'd be anticlimactic to Stonk who wants to kill Hilda the You, can, you can do it to Runar. I think that's acceptable. I don't know if his head's gonna fit in the bag. Get in the bag. All right. Moving on, though. So, um, to sum up what the the conversation, um, you were the main things that you need to remember are these things. Terrell, you're going to ask to like help wild shaping and uh, flying around the area to you know uh, scout. Um, you and Slane are also going to be in charge of using Augury to, um, look around the lake, uh, for fish spots. And what was the other thing? Oh, Gunner needs you guys to speak to Nana the Frozen again about her willingness to alter the weather. Oh, no. You good, Josh? You tired? Um, and I don't have my throat is it. getting worse. Um, uh-huh. so. Okay. Do you yeah. want, do you want to take a break? No, it's fine. It's just that every once in a while I'm going to have to cough. That's fine. Alright. I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll join troll mm. duty if someone wants to go troll weedle with me. I think oh, you can we not let Tyler do this yeah. again? No, Tyler, you don't speak giant, do you? No, you do. I'm Elric, of course you speak giant. giant. You're also banned from negotiating I'm not going to be the lead. I just want someone to come with. Yeah, this is a Mikkel, this is a metagaming. Uh, and then I'm way smarter than we don't Michelle. Medicate, then. I have like <laughs> yeah. the intelligence to attack. Well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have so an they... odd code on metagaming. <laughs> you can only medicate if it makes it worse. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, if that's the case, the, I think chlorine gas is a terrible <laughs> thing. I think that should be qualified. <laughs> Uh, I think Rickard should also go, because I don't have tongues prepared, so I can't even, like, pr- over here this time. You could say, hello, Donde esta el baño? Smite. I'm slowly no, I'll, 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 I'll go no. with. I think me, Rickard, and Stonker are the only ones who could go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't We're know how far Slimmy is mm-hmm. into learning giant. I don't know, I can't speak giant. No, nowhere near proficiency. Yeah. Yeah, you you know, like basically, like hello. Yeah, we, like, we've taken a, is, yeah. quite a break on your lessons, so you learned a lot from the Goliaths that you saw in the <laughs> yeah <laughs> at the tournament. You know all the words related to fuck. Mm-hmm. I learned only all the curse words. Curse words. Yeah. I know enough to get myself in a lot of trouble. I right sent now. Josh a list of Icelandic curse words. You should start using them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll go with you to the ice trolls. Alright, do you guys want to do that now, or do you want to have a little bit of break? I'll do it now. No? Rickard, do you want to head up the, yeah, the troll talk, or do you I'll, want me to head up the troll talk? I I want to see you head up the troll talk, because I think that'll be funnier. Alright, I have to presently go to the troll talk. Who else is joining? I'm going. But I'm, I'm coming with, I just want you to lead. I feel like I should. And you two are leave. starting on the riverside yeah. or the the yeah. lake. Tavi, what are you doing? I have no idea. I can't speak giant. I'm not gonna be any helper. Okay, we'll okay. say how how about this? As you are like, oh boy, we're gonna talk to the trolls again. Someone taps on your shoulder. Great. Odell wishes to speak to you alone. Oh, Yay! I'm gonna. I'm just giving that to you just so you can hang on it while we roleplay everyone else's. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. All right. Starting out with uh, ask you about your girlfriend. A chat with Nana. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, well I, I talked to that troll vaguely. I didn't really talk to him. I was around that troll who blacksmith. So how different could this be? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my one point of reference. You're you're talking with the Einstein of trolls, and now you're talking with. Uh, the wit, the, the Baba right. Yaga trolls. To elaborate a little bit on what the problem has been, uh, Gunner is worried about the fact that she might not be as willing to cooperate as initially expected, alongside with the fact that her, alongside the other two trolls, have been um, accused of stealing other livestock at night. So they're, they're, they're supposedly also taking more than their fair share. Mm. More than their 20, 20%? Yeah. Uh, um, Nana is currently staying at an empty stable house. <laughs> it's like, damn, she's also at Th- Thyrus. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go talk to Nana. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. I'm making sure I cast tongues so I can understand what the fuck's going on. All right. Eventually, uh, you guys make it inside this large, what used to have many livestock in it. It's one of uh, Gunner's stables, I'll say. A little, like, half mile from his home. So you uh, make your way over there, and eventually the large door opens, and you see this hulking uh, troll woman with buckets of, you know, meat, blood, herbs, etc., creating these gross like remedies atop like multiple tables and other and other things. But as the door opens, she turns towards <laughs> you and her partially blinded eyes says, oh, what do you need from me? Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, also do I get the sense that the sable was very much full one day before Mikkel left? Yeah, town? yeah. Um uh, you come in and immediately are hit by the smell of like hay Shit, blood. Just old horse. Old horse, yeah. What's left of new horse? <laughs> the B.O. of an ice troll, you know. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um. Oh, God. Right. It's been quite a while, has it not? No, no. Oh, I recognize you. you. <laughs> I think Rickard was there, too. Yeah, Rickard was there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, and she turns back to whatever abomination she's working on. Can I eyeball it as an alchemist? Uh, this uh, is I mean, troll shit. This is. I don't know. No. <laughs> this is a random troll shit. 
I see you've made your home in Beruvik in preparation for the siege. Oh, it's not quite home, but I'm trying. Yes, I can tell. Is there a live, laugh, love sign above like a sheep head? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. It's an eco pillage sign. Hell yeah. <laughs> trespassers, trespassers will be eaten. No solicitors. <laughs> and a no is crossed out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just solicitors. Um, it's not quite home. And I responded, okay. Um, and we're not sure how to approach this. <laughs> like, we, like, hey, knock it the fuck off, or hey, Nana, how you doing? Or Nana, think of the children. Like, we didn't think about how we wanted That's to. That's why I asked if you guys want some time, and you're like, no, but let's jump right into it. It's Nana, how hard could it be? We were rather rushed last time we made the deal with you, Nana. Ah, uh, yes, very generous. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I wasn't a part of that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. <sighs> But, as seeing as the siege is approaching, we wanted to make sure you knew what you we required of you. Yes. Right now, I make remedies of poisons and remedies for magical ailments. Can, can I, like, investigate the remedies? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Are they remedies or what we call it, just poisons? That's a 21. You would know (laughs) that troll magic has a history of, like, blending absolute nonsense with, like, actual, like, shit that kind of works. So, yes. Okay, 40k uh, works. Yes, it would work. (laughs) However, similar to when you guys ate, drank that bone reconstruction juice, there's, like, side effects. Okay, cool. (laughs) It works. Kinda. It would kill you, cure you to poison. It just give you a different poison. Yeah, it'd give you E. coli. Nice. 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 Um. It'd cure your brain cancer and give you stomach cancer. I see. And I seem to recall that you uh, also claim to have some ability to control the weather. Yes, Nana can do that. And you plan to do that? Yes. To protect Baruvik, as we agreed. Inside check. Inside check. Yeah. Yeah. I got good inside check, but I'm inside check. 16 plus stuff. Is that a natural one? Uh, that is a nat one. Plus uh, one, two. You trust that troll. I have rolled Tanner only eight tonight. Eight? Potions. What have you rolled? <laughs> 16 plus stuff. <laughs> All right. You two have no idea if she's being honest. Elric, you note... Yeah... I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it my way. I give you half a raised eyebrow. Let's see. Why? Do you fear I'm not being honest? For total 21. <laughs> <laughs> it is not a matter of honesty. More of reassurance. This is a very dangerous time. If we lose, we're all going to die. Mm. You and your children included. <laughs> and she laughs a little, oh, my sons. If they die, they were not destined to survive the winter. And she looks over and says... Do we know says, who daddy is? No. No. I she don't would, know. She turns over around and says... The blacksmith. <sighs> Sam? And says, Sam? The enemy will suffer... And an even greater blizzard than they have ever witnessed. I will make them suffer in familiar cold. Can I insight that? Yes. That's terrifying. That, that sounds like it's going to be a hindrance to us I want to well. insight that. Mm-hmm. I need to know if we're getting fucked over here too. 13. Yeah, that's a 10. <laughs> 10. <laughs> 13. <laughs> On the surface, she's just gonna be. Oh, I didn't say it. All you pick up from that is that Maybe yes, I'm gonna pro- I'm gonna protect Beruvik by making it even worse of a winter out there for them. Okay. We don't know if the out there excludes in here, right? 
You should, you know, maybe ask that. Yeah, you should ask that. Even Stomp could be like, you gotta keep the out there out there, right? And you will keep your magics focused on the target, right? And not Baruvik itself. I will do my best, but it is hard to control these winds. I don't want to roll another insight. <laughs> I, need, I, need I just that. sort of look at the wind and push it. How so hard I is it to control the <laughs> winds? Like, oh, right, huh? Fucking Christ. I've rolled nothing over a ten. I no. push I push the wind just to prove a point. <laughs> I don't say anything to this lady, I just push the wind. Now and she turns <laughs> back towards her work. Is there anything else you wish of Nana? We do need to talk about the um, the livestock. The livestock. Mm, I don't want to do this part. This is more of a Rickard line of question. Rickard, how do you want to convince a troll it's her idea not to eat more? Stonk is overcome with guilt and just just terrible regret for allowing Mikkel to make this decision. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you guys could have talked me out of it. Yeah, and I None will of always us. regret not like taking control of that conversation, but you were like all on, in on it, and I was like, all right, cool. He's got it. He's oh, got oh, it. That's one out of every five. <laughs> one fifth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They wanted us to... I walked that down. That was Ooh, not I, my I stuff. Not I lowered the number. Us to. Hmm? I, I would say... Um, uh, sorry, I, I don't mean to nitpick. Um, I, I, you're just making me want to say it more now. Okay, go for it then. I, I won't <laughs> nitpick. Sorry. Yeah. Gunner and Island want us to... Can they throw him in, under the bus? I am absolutely throwing him under the bus. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> Cheers. Wanted us to inquire about issues with the livestock. In particular, he thinks that your sons may have taken more than their fair share. Fair share? His words, not mine. Oh. <laughs> and he says, Well, it's a shame Gunner has no hospitality for his guests. <laughs> okay, that conversation's over. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean? I mean, we have plenty. But, if I need fresh blood for a remedy... I take it. I am older than the Avnordian Empire itself. And I will live outlive the Avnordian Empire as, as well. We don't need to incite that. <laughs> that that's just true. Even if she what dies at the siege, she'll still outlive the Empire. The empire she just has a stroke She's three won. minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she won. This is a grudge match. She does not need to keep going, but I don't have a counter that. Like we could offer her disposed blood from like the infirmary, but I don't want her using that. Does it need to be livestock? It can be people. Well, oh, I'm certain that we will have plenty Wait a of second. fresh. Bodies. We know where fifty four corpses. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt their blood is fresh. <laughs> I'm certain there will be plenty of fresh bodies for you to use for your remedies in the coming days. Oh, no, no, no. It is the fresh blood I must use for the remedies. However, the bodies? Oh, I'll use them for something else. Okay, Insight? <laughs> is she using this for her own shit, or is she gonna... Is she what gonna do you think? Now? She's hungry. I, 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 more... think, I think the passive insight of a... Them. I think the passive insight of a normal person yeah. would think like, oh, either eat them, or some wacky troll shit. I, I have if a it's passive good insight of nine. <laughs> I think that even that is passable for this. They're I trolls. rolled another ten. I still have not yeah. rolled above a ten. They want to eat... Eat, eat them. That's that's okay. pretty straightforward. That was a nine, though. For an <laughs> okay. There was way more malice than usual. I just wanted to double check. 
that she was <laughs> emphasizing the fact that she's gonna eat human bodies. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. I think I did a great job for ten charisma and throwing him under the bus. So you yeah, know, go me. If he goes to, he disappears the next couple of days. Well, we know why. That's one less sheep we've lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we didn't stop shit. <laughs> Terrell, Slane. Yes? You two um, have made your way out to the lake. Terrell, with your rune stones, and Slane, with your various <laughs> uh, various magic doings. Um, how? What would you guys like to do, and how would you guys like to do this? Do you want to walk same direction together? Split up. Sure. Makes more sense to split up and search for clues. Absolutely. Well, I'm light enough. You're gonna it's get. Gonna be... And then if I do, but then I can just watch. Yeah, you can just turn into a fish. Yeah, I can just turn into a fish. Turn into a fish. It's a great idea. And then I, I can't get back out. <laughs> You'll be fine for four hours. Uh, eight hours. <laughs> if I, unless I, I could be like an R, yes, and then I can crawl out. You can't cast spells when you're. You when you're an animal. Don't need to do these spells to turn to an otter. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking about if I fall in the water. Oh yeah. Keep you penguin. You can cast penguin. wheel. You can do. You can be. You can have a swim speed now. Yeah. So you're gonna cast wheel and woe and be like, oh, I got whoa. I guess there's no fish here, and then you're. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, I'll say that unless there's anything you guys would like to roll for, like role play, um, I'll say. You guys each get like a cup, like couple casts of and augury, and you guys are traveling separate. You're splitting up. Yeah, yeah. that's not bad. Don't if you cast it more once a day, it's there's a percent chance that it doesn't. Work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's still better than nothing. It's... And we will have no idea whether it's accurate or not. Yeah, the the casting of an additional if you guys spell two or more times before completing a long rest, um, it you eventually get a random reading. Which I mean, that's still better than nothing. Yeah. So I'll say that you each... I mean, at least two would be better than... Yeah, I'll say I'll say you each roll three times. Okay. You know for sure two spots either have or don't have fish. Well, yep. And everything after that. Um, it's not a check. Uh, I, I let you know. You cast it. <clears throat> so, Tyrell, would you like to explain how you cast Augury this spell through your rune stones? And Selene, would you, exp- uh, would you describe how you cast your spell? Yeah. Uh... Can go, I need to check if something. Do you go to the governor's desk, desk room and steal his desk and bring it out to him? <laughs> no. I want to sit cross legged on the ice with my little bag. <laughs> you cleared up a little area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't like slip away because I'm afraid of losing one. <laughs> and just kind of like sit for a minute before, mm-hmm. like actually like casting. Because mm-hmm. I want to have like a clear mind. It takes a minute to cast. Yeah. Because I, I think she would make sure she's, like, calm before, so there's no, like... Yeah, so would you need um, an extra ten minutes on top of that, so eleven, to make it... If you're ritual, ritual casting yeah, it. Yeah, so, you, so. You, you can ritual cast it whenever you want using yeah. those. So, uh, you would wait one minute, and then there's a ten... You have ten more minutes. So, what do you do during those ten minutes? Uh... <laughs> I think you gotta do a ritual. <laughs> yeah. What, what's the ritual? You can just spill all of the beads on the ground and just be like, investigate how they fell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. You just juggle for ten minutes and then you plop yeah. it. Yeah. You know, just for a minute you shake the runes, you say something to yourself, and you eventually spill them out over the ice, and you just kind of like look, see where each of them lands, what orientation they did, and you kind of like come to a conclusion, mm, no, nothing. <laughs> Great. As a matter of fact, almost every time you cast it, it's nah, no nothing. Fish. It's not wheel, not woe, it's just nothing. Oh, okay, Slane, how do you do it? Slane is like, um... Slane's process for it is asking the question and also going through the process of clearing his mind. Uh, he pulls out uh, a thing of dice. Just begins shaking it. And is now playing a game of Yahtzee on this side <laughs> while doing this. If he can get a full playing Yahtzee with God, he's, if he can get multiple Yahtzees, he's going to interpret that as. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. If he if he can't but, get, but shit. If, if he if he gets like one Yahtzee, he's like okay, it's like a neutral thing. If he gets none, he's going to read it as as bad. Yeah, none, none. Yahtzee. Yahtzee. No, none. 
you, you hear um, from across the lake, Yes, a Yahtzee! And then... <laughs> so do you, do you yell Yahtzee? Do you point at a fisherman? Here. <laughs> yes. If I get... Yahtzee! If I get two Yahtzees, I'm going to, like, pull a fisherman over okay. right here. <laughs> and it's entirely on vibes. <laughs> I'll say that you two spend... After, <laughs> after a couple hours or so, eventually, Terrell, with your exhausted, like, you're just exhausted at this point. Oh, oh, I see something. Good results. Wheel. Here! False result. <laughs> Probably false. I'm so over the hopeful. Course, yeah. Over the course of the rest of the night, you each, I'll say, Terrell, you have two positive spots in Slane, you have one. Yachty's a lot harder to get multiple of. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so unless you two would like to roleplay anything in specific, that'll be that'll be it for you. Wasn't Sister uh, hiding out by the lake? Yes, she's doing her own thing right now. Uh, at some point, I would like to see how Trill does it. Just like, watch. Just watching? Yeah, yeah. just Peer watch pressure, us over. Just kind of like, like I have my eyes closed and I'm... <laughs> Trill has to do it twice because you distracted her the first time. <laughs> like seven minutes. I thought I was being stealth- stealthy. Slitty was not being You were stealthy. breathing down my neck. <laughs> Tavi. Uh, a guard pulls you aside. Odell would like to speak to you privately. You notice um, the guard wears a embroidered tree on his stained leather armor. Don't know what that is. That's that's uh, Gildor. Oh, sure. where, where did Odell go after everybody departed from Gunner's office? Don't he takes you. Okay. He brings you into one of the. Uh, brooms kind of outside of Gunner's Gunner's home. And uh you see Odell just kind of like standing in the corner of the smaller room, just kind of like looking out the window. And as you walk in, his eyes like open again. And and I'll say you don't have the best insight, but from what you know about Odell, there are many emotions when he's looking at you. The feeling's neutral. <laughs> He actually, I'll say roll, roll an insight check. See, what, what's the most prominent emotion? Nine. He looks angry. Oh. What's this I hear about you running away to fight God? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, you won. <laughs> To be fair, he also died. Yeah. No one knows that Tavi died, though. Twice. Twice. Only once. One. Twice. Well, oh, no, you weren't in the Sturberg Temple. You weren't, weren't in it. Once. Oh, and not jump off a cliff. Okay. I never met. It's like, oh, God, is that how they're saying it? <laughs> Looks like you changed that. Tavi, <laughs> you found safety here in Beruvik. You told me you were safe. Stretch. <laughs> And then we learned about the whole thing with Hilda. <laughs> Why did you run away from that? You could have died. I'd like to see you be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Get shit on, Dad. Seemed like the right thing to do for Beruvik. Seemed like a good idea. Worth killing yourself over? Maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe I'd be surprised something. if someone even did that for Galethorpe, and here you are doing it for a town you have no connection to. Damn, he's just kind of a dick. God, I forgot that Odell was just a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Come home and have you deal with all this shit of like me hanging out with Stonk after everything that he did? No matter what, all, you were already doing that. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm help, helping save a city. You sent me a letter telling me that you were safe. That was before I was kidnapped. <laughs> kidnapped. Oh, kidnapped. Oh. So, uh -oh. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> you want to guess who did? <laughs> you want to guess? You want to guess the cause? Slime. He's throwing everyone on the bus. Just throwing everyone on the bus. Oh, well, oh. Watch <laughs> fucking bag. I'm gonna have a talk with Adele after this. It is <laughs> not gonna be pleasant. Turns out he spent most of our time in Beruvik sleeping with a sleever from Isenda. Why oh, not? <laughs> <laughs> just fully throwing slinade. He's just gonna hate both of you now. <laughs> he already hates both of us. <laughs> 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 
I just heard the back wheels hit your head. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> the only one he kind of liked Wait. of us was you and Mikel. And he only totally fine liked him because of racism. The prison, like, Mikel's dead. I'm waiting for Tavi to now reverse the bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full phone out of Morgan. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> and he, he just like, oh my god. And goes, well, I'm sorry that happened to you, but what? You, you eventually got up from what Gunner told me. You all offered to help Beruvik. As a matter of fact, you demanded. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said, no, don't fucking do it. And we're like, no, we're doing it. We left before we got his blessing to help this town. <laughs> We got kidnapped on our way to ask him to take us there. <laughs> <laughs> we asked the slaver, hey, can you give us a ride? And he said, yes, and. <laughs> he was even going that way anyway. <laughs> oh, we to start. Um, what was the question? <laughs> he asked, like, you got it. this is what Gunner told me. Like, Gunner told me you guys demanded to. Okay. Do, do I know that Eric told us to go for Barubic? I don't remember when that yes. happened. Okay. Yeah. It was Eric that told us to head for Barubic. I think he told all of us? He told Stog? Yeah, he said, like, it's safer. He'll Gunner will keep you safe there. Alright. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna do yeah. that. <laughs> What's that have to do with fighting God? Bobby. <laughs> 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 whose idea was it? Hold on, I don't remember whose idea it was to go to the tournament. Why? Tavi, you just want to throw everyone I think under the bus. All of I think, our ideas. To like, be fair, I think it was Mikkel's choice, and he wanted you to help him free his crew, and then you could save the town on the way. Tavi, what concerns me is not that you've come to Bruvik. It's that once you found that safety, you just saw, you didn't come back. So, you were kidnapped, eventually freed. I'm assuming. For yourselves. And you kept going. Yeah. Because I didn't want my head sent back to you in a box. What do you mean? Who, who's, whose head was in the box? Yeah. Oh. That wasn't Laura. So no, that was, no, no, it was, that yeah. was Olaf's son. It was Olaf's son. Olaf's son's head was sent to Gunner in a box as a, Hilding from, as a warning from Hilda. And I, didn't, I didn't want that thing to happen to you. And I didn't want to die. Frankly. So I went to a death tournament. <laughs> <laughs> and then Odell, I Odell, died. Yeah. Then I t- Odell, Odell, I survived. Odell still doesn't seem to understand the reason. That why you think that Hilda could kill you outside of the city walls. She wasn't going north. <laughs> <laughs> he, he purses his lips and like holds his head and goes, Tavi. I had every right to be worried that you wouldn't make it here. Andor, Hilda, the monsters, demons, the wind, the cold, and I come here and find out that you ran away uh, from that safety on a suicide mission to another realm to talk to Ingvald? What the fuck is this, Tavi? And Tavi won. <laughs> Tavi won. It's funny, it's what this is. <laughs> In look, retrospect, at, look, I won the hammer. <laughs> In retrospect, extremely hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he lets out like a sharp and long like exhale from his nose and so he, and he does it like through his palm with his like body turned away from you and you just feel like the, the disappointment radiating from him ouch Did quick you... tell him you're a demon tell him <laughs> tell him you won bonk yourself with the mallet <laughs> Brad. Deal so much damage to yourself. <laughs> you told me that if I fuck up not to come home, and I got so determined not to fuck up that I'm doing the least fuckiest up thing that I can think of, and that's saving a goddamn town from your crackhead past general. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. He's Tommy, cool. when I said don't fuck up, <laughs> I meant, don't make things worse. I'm just glad you're safe. Just go. 
and he sends you out. Damn, not even in your wooden son. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Deb, check out this hammer I won. I got it from God. <laughs> Who visited me last night. <laughs> the Denny's parking lot. <laughs> It was 3 a.m. It was 3 a.m. in the Denny's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> how do you, how do you, do you, do you inside check to you or do you just walk out? I'll inside just for the memes, but like, I'm salty. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a new dad. <laughs> this is 3 Ooh, Yeah, all you yeah inside checks are cursed. <laughs> Whether or not it is the appropriate the appropriate emotion Odell is trying to convey, you feel disappointment. I'm gonna go be helpful somewhere else. (laughs) Okay. For the rest of the night, what would you all like to do? Hmm. 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 Minecraft villagers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I'll probably just kind of help out around the town yeah. wherever I can okay. be of assistance. Try, try and boost people's mood. Yeah. Where can I use my big muscles for the best impact? I'll say that there are just some people moving supplies around, you know, of the, the new armor that has that is, like, being makeshifted, like, right at, at the minute. You kind of help transport around, you know, it's it's getting inspected, fitted to people. You, you're just moving things around. You'll stand around for 15 minutes with nothing to do, and then people will pull you in seven directions asking you to carry things, you know, mm-hmm. that, that sort of thing. Yeah. Stonko, you gonna do Lars part two and train the town on a fight? No. You already did say you were gonna do that. I did? Yes. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I, I remember. You don't have to do it now. I can save it for next week when you're feeling better. Yeah, can we save it? Yeah, sure. that's fine. Choo choo, motherfucker. Choo choo on this. And then it chewed. And then it chewed. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's all I have to say to that. It's not really painful. <laughs> oh. It sounded like you really found that funny and I should do it more often. Uh, I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> it was a fucking pun. It, it wasn't even a good one. It was a terrible pun. Um, but yeah, I, I guess I'll focus on helping however I can. Okay. I'll do the training next week. <clears throat> Sounds good. Right. Any uh, anything else anyone wants to role play, seek out, do the time being? You guys can wrap up and help the, the town for the rest of the night, and then get wants some to drinks. talk to Odell about the poison. The three of us who now should be there. Well, well you definitely I'm don't want Stonk one. to do it alone. Oh, no, no, I'm saying... You don't want Stonk it to do be... it alone. Out of character, we don't want Slane to do Slane it alone. should not do it alone. Don't worry, if you, if you you don't have to do it now. Stonk's gonna want to have a word with some of you. I mean, not Stonk, uh, Odell's gonna want to have a word with some of you a little later. Alright, I'll wait until okay. he has a uh, word. <laughs> oh, I want to go... Can I... You go first. Can I try and find Elric alone? Oh, Elric, what are you doing while you're moping? Because you're doing so, you're you're well, moping around somewhere. I was mid saying I wanted to go find my mom. <laughs> so you find me mid me finding my mom. Yeah, that's not who you wanted to find, but you found someone. Oh, maybe they can help you find your mom. <laughs> Wandering around uh, Gunner's estate, you notice um, Elric just kind of peering around in each room. I'm very Mom, stealthily going from room to room. Mother? Very clearly Mother? trying to find someone and not find others. Who are you looking for? I jump. <laughs> Slane, what, what is it? Uh, can I talk to you real fast? Sure. Well, good. We'll, we'll go into Lars's room. Oh, God damn, that's <laughs> cool. We're, we're going to Stong's room. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making the assumption that Stonk isn't in there. When no, he is not in there. I make the mental note that Stonk's middle name is Lars. <laughs> Stonk Lars twice orphaned. <laughs> Stonk caller Lars twice orphaned. What an unfortunate name. I don't like it. it really rings, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. 
Stock hamburger. Now that we have a quiet moment, I'd like to ask how you met your god. What? Your 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 your, your god, the one of the sun. I don't remember exactly what we told you. <coughs> all I know is that the elven goddess of the sun is all that that is. Oh, okay. I will say you you haven't noticed him do anything other than wear it. That's all you know. I have an elvish necklace. Yes. Hmm? And he could be making yeah. a radical statement to get a rise out of... Yeah, that's, that's, that's why. I, I'm just warning you that that is a radical... <laughs> that, radical that, that, that is a Sometimes hot making take. hot takes can get a honest answer out of yeah. people. So you, you, you could either I'm, be making an assumption or pretending to make an assumption, but that is a hot take. Mm-hmm. And I respond to that as, what? Oh, great. The, 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 the amulet that you, you wear. He pauses and he's trying to figure out what he wants to say to you, to you Selene. Uh-huh. He says... He's gonna insight check you. What? What's? What's? Do you, do you sound accusatory? Do you like? Oh, I don't care. Why did you hide it? For? Like, oh, you're a dirty elf lover. Like, what's what's your vibes going into this? Uh, definitely just curiosity. Not malicious curiosity. Just curiosity. Mm, I found it in the wilderness some time ago. No, that I will insight. That I will be insight. Who's <laughs> that? Eh. Oh no. I think that's only a 15. He's not lying. He's not, he's not going into detail. He's being a little cagey, but he's not actively lying. But you just found it? There's a story there he's not telling you, but. It's not why. I think he was asking in character. Oh. Yeah. I wandered into a cave during weather. I actually quite like this little... I don't know how long ago was it. Um, checks notes. A year or something. A year, a couple years ago. Yeah, I need to say a couple years. A couple, a couple, and this is accurate in greater quotes because I don't mm-hmm. remember the specifics. A couple years ago. And I found my necklace and I found my sword. Don't you use a sickle? Or no, that's... It's that's a scimitar, right? right? It's a, it's a skinny... Oh, no, it's kopesh. It's a kopesh, which is basically a skinny hemi. But better. But better. Anything else that was with it? Or just randomly an amulet and sword? It's on body. One rotted centuries ago. Grave robber. That's not even the worst crime this party's committed in the past month. Elon must. How's <laughs> Elon doing? <laughs> dead, absolutely. <laughs> Very dead. <laughs> he did not survive the riot. No, he did not survive the winter. Good. Oh, Good. He, you guys exiled him. <laughs> we kicked we, him out. We unofficially exiled yeah. him. Yeah. You threaten them out of the city. What are Eric and his wife are doing? <sighs> well, I mean, I if I had sending prepared, I could ask out a- 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 Eric, but uh, mm. I don't. Well, unfortunately, we'll never know. We'll never know. Lauren's going to tell us when the campaign ends, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you if Eric lived. Schrodinger's Eric. Mm-hmm. He basically survived the sea, joined to hear what the stories didn't nearly fucking die of a heart attack. Yeah. So you just decided to Wear the amulet? What business of it is yours? Merely curiosity. I mean, it's elvish. It, I mean, it is That elvish. warrants attention. Yeah. 
in of itself. Klaus Dog is here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am very curious about this, and this is a plotline that got dropped, like, ten I, episodes I, ago. I, I've been waiting I, for this. I could not all. pick it up until now. I know. Um, we well, yeah, haven't talked about is... this until since it's Digaborg Temple. It was the one yeah. investigation check more... I fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elvish as well, that. Not exactly safe to wear up here. Mm-hmm. Safer than you think. Not many people know. The symbols of the gods won't be forgotten. But those who do know. And it's like tucked in his shirt. It's not mm-hmm. exactly on open display for all to see. But you're still wearing it. I don't exactly expect to be strip searched anytime soon. Expecting it or no, the danger is still present. The danger is to live, Sone. I'm not that word. <coughs> but I grew up in that household. Uh huh. And they have a very particular way of seeing the world. Which is... Honestly, it's not that different from what I can tell from what you have no idea and stink. And out of character, I don't follow away that that's that's a hot take. But he's he's not culturally sensitive <laughs> to the half of the situation. Uh, that you have no idea and stink of elves and dragons. He's just he's just like he's trying out. He's not He's just throwing things out of, like, but, of inferior races and things long and crushed. And perhaps it's just a little more passionate. And when I left, I found that I did not find their passion so convincing. And so I wanted to think for myself and find some things out. And where did that take you? I know a thing or two about the gods, but about the ones we have and the ones that are gone. I think the ones that are gone did not deserve what they got. They did not deserve to be forgotten. And almost like subconsciously, he rests his hand on the hilt of his sword. Not like a cut, <laughs> like an edgy bitch way, just it's resting. Stroke. Just got a stroke the sword handle. <laughs> so stroke sort of the like, show. Sort of yeah. like this. <laughs> the sword starts purring. It's a cat. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> One of the runes likes to start purring. <laughs> The horrifying. The sword just starts vibrating <laughs> so loud. It's vibrating with immense power. It can cure all wounds. Ooh. Oh no. It's cat's it's just immense power. <laughs> but that still doesn't explain. Who's driving the bus? <laughs> Why you still chosen to wear it? I understand keeping it. How do you invoke your magic? With this and pulls out the symbol of Elvis. <laughs> and what happens when you use it? <laughs> Children. <laughs> Children. Why does it give you power? It's the so connection nice. to Elvis. And I go into my bag, and I start rummaging. I can use this. Or I pull out the slimiest, grossest, <laughs> oh. absolutely... I have a crude. Call it crude simp- I could use it is a, it is a It is a rock, <laughs> and it has the rune of Ingwas in it, but it is so like old and like washed over that you can barely trace out the rune. Would you rather I use a connection to something lost, but at least 
there's there's wholesomeness there. Or this. Well, Eric, can you do a quick like history or arcana check for me? Arcana check? Yeah. Can I also do that? No. Okay. So I just need to two plus but two. Yeah, that's how you believe magic works. It's definitely not how it works. Okay. That's what I was gonna roll I for. Is that idiot. how magic works? But well, you, would, you can do it's that. More, I guess, it's well. more like a political statement. That's <laughs> <laughs> political statement. Uh, I'm a young man making politics. Pol- going to yeah. protest. I think that's gonna be a sixteen. Yeah. I'll say you. You can only. You only understand it from the perspective of <clears throat> giant magic. Yeah. You don't get your magic from Elumis. Mm-hmm. You, just like him, get it from the rune. Yeah. So if I'm Ingvald, I have the strongest connection to the rune, but my sorcerers, you know, druids, you know, the mm-hmm. paladins, etc., they don't have to worship Ingvald, but they do have to have a connection to the rune. Okay. So that's why there are people, like, for example, if Tavi wanted to continue to be a paladin of Thor, it would be less about Thor and more about Thurisaz. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. To be fair, his connection to Ingvald's rune is probably not the strongest. Like, mm. it's not horrible, but it's not the strongest. Whereas, he feels passionately about the gods. Why not? Your, your connection to the Ingvald's rune is uh, very strong. You're a sorcerer of Ingvald. <laughs> <laughs> so. That's my leg. I have a I have cat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I do that with her all the time. Um, would it be wrong to make the assumption that it would need to physically have the room on there somewhere? Like, on you to do it? Yeah. To some extent, yes, or okay. some symbol. Like, you have a holy symbol. Yeah, 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 that... But the holy symbol that he has... Wouldn't have the rune on there. Of, of the, of the of, el- elf? No, not of the elf. Of, of. Uh, of he's a sor- he's a sorcerer. It comes okay. from within, but that rock still works. Okay, like I, it's I, not. I, I could use it. Josh. Hey, Josh. You okay? Kill him. Maybe McDonald's was a bad idea. Did, did he have food poisoning? Hey, Josh, did you just vomit? You okay? Alright, let's, let's keep moving. Let's give him some time. Okay. <laughs> so you... What was your question about the room? I was asking that, like, as an above-board question. Granted, Alex hot take, maybe not, is logical. <laughs> maybe this is a man trying to find meaning, and it's not exactly how magic works. So your connection to Ingvald is through that amulet? It's also in your blood. You but Slane doesn't understand it. Slane barely understands his magic. Magic runs in my very blood. I just need to focus on it. And I thought that this one was more appealing. The magic runs so thick through my blood that my blood simply cannot clot. <laughs> 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 Magic and white blood cells just simply don't mix it. Right <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I just word of advice: be careful with that. More people may recognize it than you think. I'm always careful. I, but I saw it. <laughs> 
I do the. You, you scored a point. <laughs> he doesn't write well for that one. I give a begrudging nod. And you guys are free to keep rolling. I'll check. Okay. Gosh. God, I want to ask the real question, but I can't okay, ask that okay. question. Did you mm-hmm. vomit? Okay, you're good. You're good. He says he's like, I want to ask a different question, but that's so metagamey, it's not even funny. Well, what's the question? If he also follows the Elven Goddess, but he, he clearly said that she was gone already, so, yeah. But even if she's gone, her the room that is... I don't know how there. Elven Gods work. I, I, it's I, a, yeah, it's a different type of magic. I'll say out of character just because, you know, Josh isn't here and mm-hmm. we have time. Elves use something called shardic magic, which comes from one of three supposed drops or, like, shards of the sun that, like, fell off the sun. Okay. So, yeah, elves use shardic magic. Um, Similar to runes, where it's so... It's the, it's the exact opposite. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um... But I am very clearly using giant magic. Yeah. And yeah. that's... Unless you're healing, then you use I don't think magic. I, have I seen you heal at all? I have cast care wounds. Yeah, you you, you didn't explain blessed. it, yeah. Yeah, so if you look in Info Treasure, you can see, like, the different types of magic. Runic magic is also known as the Sathir, which is, you know, has a lot of divination and elemental influence. It has light influence over, like, nature and, like, brain psychic stuff. Um, druidic magic uh, is mainly ele- uh, mainly nature magic and like moon magic, which Turil is a you know druid of the moon, so that's mainly about like transforming yourself, that sort of thing. Um, and yeah, nature druidic magic is self-explanatory. There's essence magic, which is mainly what um, dragons and demons use, which has uh, heavy influence over psychic magic and blood magic. So like your mind and your body, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> and then shardic magic has uh, influence over sun magic and black magic, which you none of you would know what that is or what that means. Okay. Do we want to pause until Josh gets back, or do you guys yeah, want to role play on your own? I've hit the end of my, my questioning. I was just, I've been curious right. about that for a long okay. time. I will pause it then. Josh is back. Whoa. Whoa. That didn't take long. He actually died in Vietnam, and we we, we just his know. hologram had to just reboot for yeah. a second. Yeah, don't worry, we're all good, good and dandy here. Ooh. So, um, Elric and Slane, you two are done for now. Sound good? Yeah. Uh, you probably want to yeah. listen if you want to hear the whole thing. But I'll give you a recap so you don't. What I miss once I left. Um, where 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 did we cut off? What was the last thing you heard? Um. I mean, to be fair, he didn't. Miss much. Yeah, I, I, it was I, literally I was, just. I was, I was explaining how magic worked too. Yeah, I think that's where I left. Was that you guys were trying to figure out um, how magic worked? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. So the Nate does not understand how magic. Basically, works. Basically, he asked me why I have the symbol, and I was <laughs> like, involves icky and gross, so I have this yeah. cool ass god symbol." Shart- I remember that Shart- part. Um, yeah, that was pretty much the important Shart- thing. Shart- okay. Shart- 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 and then he that said. Part. Don't show me, but I'm like, I know what I'm doing. He's like, well, I saw it. He's like, touche. That, that was it. Okay. Right. Perfect. We'll leave it on that point. Slane so will think about that at the other point. Would you say that you would all inevitably meet up at the mead hall for drink and dinner at the end of the night? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. All right. So we'll say that that is what you're doing now, in what order you want to arrive, or what you want to get. It's up to you. Go All right. They're serving more stew. More Meat. stew. Meaty and more vegetable stew. stew. Well, they will have stew. <laughs> Since I don't actually think I need my spell slots for the rest of the day, there's now um, a lot of mashed potatoes next to it. <laughs> yeah. Not that people know what mashed potatoes are. But it's not pecan at it. Well, potato boy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Never speak to me that time of voice again. Josh came back from the bathroom and chose fine. <laughs> well, someone has to pick up Mocha's mantle. Mm-hmm. Well, she's with me now. I've 
Oh no! I have cumulative. You violence. really picked up that mantle. Baby. Oh, like that scene of Godfather. <laughs> yes. Or I've never seen Godfather. I have no idea what scene you're referring to. Man. <laughs> you, you don't have to Imagine Godfather if you actually, like actually like watched good movies. Um, you don't need to watch I'm Godfather. I'm sorry. I only see. like watching I'm movies I enjoy. On the day enjoy. of my daughter's wedding. <laughs> Did you not see Zootopia? Like, what yeah, your favorite mean? movie. Oh, I saw it. I haven't seen Zootopia. Don't forget Pacific Rim. Yeah, Pacific Rim. <laughs> also Godzilla. Uh, particularly Godzilla. the American one. You really like all the American Godzillas. I like Godzilla vs. Biolanthe. What's no your favorite favorite. Godzilla, Josh? Um, Godzilla. Actually, probably. Um, I, I know it was you, Frank. You broke my heart. I like reboot Godzilla. I'm a big fan. But Shin Godzilla is very good, too. All right. So you've all made it back to the meat hall at this point and yeah. have gotten your food. Um, the day has been quite eventful with the arrival of Odell, Tavi's new hammer, um, speaking with uh, the ice troll alongside with creating a lot of the plans for the upcoming siege. Yep. Is there anything you all would like to speak about? Um, Tavi, you want to show off your weapon? I'll show it off, but he's also, like, angry drinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you, like, overshowing enough, like, look how cool this is, this was worth it. You're just like, look, I earned this! <laughs> no, I do yes, it. very, you very did. good at drinking crab gels. <laughs> Tavi, do you want to have a duel? Yeah, alright. Alright. Middle cool. of the meat hole? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll clear out the, the hunter-predator circle that's already yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we'll just use that as a little... That, that's not there on the ground. They normally draw that on the ground. Oh, okay. But else, you guys start moving empty tables, and, you know, people start, yeah, like, kind like of looking around. Like a... Can we, yeah. like, hype this up as, like, look at the champions. Oh, look you don't need to. Do. You don't need to, yeah. <laughs> so are we doing weapons non-lethal? Uh, <laughs> if that's the way you want to go, sure. I mean, oh, you, you, you want to go we lethal? Do, it I won't do. do much... Yeah, any ways to be fair, but yeah. what I mean, smites is, or no? <laughs> um, Can you well, I mean, if you smite, smites, I one smite. smite. One smite. One smite. A singular one smite. smite. One smite. One I can smite. use two smites, so if you I start smite. throwing them out, I'll start throwing them out. But yeah. What if I cast command on you? Just, just smack it. Wow. I guess. will cast command on you. <laughs> I'm a paladin now. You I got everything. You don't have spells. Yes, I do. No. Paladins get it at second level. No. Yep. Spell casting is second level. Noodle. For half casters. Uh, are paladins third casters? No. Oh. Shit. Oh no, they get first level oh, spells at second. It's, yeah. it's rogues and uh, eldritch knights that are the third casters. Mm-hmm. If you are, if your class is already a half caster, like ranger, paladin, mm-hmm. you get it at second level. I just if for- you're a full caster, first level. If you are a subclass based caster, third. Level. Um. So yeah. Okay. Yes, I will do. Right. Um, is Odell watching? <laughs> He's not there. Oh, I feel God. like we should set some ground rules so that we don't just drag this out forever. And you don't. First to like half HP. Oh, yeah, that works. First um, to bloody. Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> Boink. I bet three gold on Tavi. Oh, I, I'm betting on Stalk. I learned my lesson <laughs> last time I'm betting <laughs> against Stalk. Do you want to bet three I'll, gold? I'll, I'll match your three gold. All right. I'll bet three gold on Tavi Stalk. Tavi has all my gold. <laughs> Do you still want to bet gold on Tavi anyways? No, I'm not. <laughs> Tavi, I, I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get six gold, or I'm gonna lose have, six like, gold. I don't even know if I have that much gold. <laughs> you had like four gold and some yeah. change. Yeah, should bet like an acorn. Yeah. All right, yeah. some majority. Uh, I bet one snowball. crowd has formed. Woo! What do you two say to each other before you roll initiative, uh-huh. if anything? Just like old times. Just like old times. Do you try to hype up the crowd? Or you just oh, go for how's it? Javi feeling right now? Salty. Salty. Okay. <laughs> but like this is this feels <laughs> stonk. This feels healthy. Stonk. You think this is fun and games? For Tavi, 
It's not. <laughs> this is stress this, relief. This, this, yeah, this is... I would like to be constantly hyping up the crop while this is happening. All like, right. shout casting. Perception check while you... So not perception. Performance check while you... Or persuasion. While you two uh, make your initiative checks. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck. Okay, first and foremost, I have advantage oh. for my help. I think you're going first. What'd you roll? Now one. Okay. <laughs> you're a little too busy, like, the... As as still oh, okay. is hyping up the audience, you're like, like, yeah, yeah, you're soaking it in. Yeah. So Tavi, I'm assuming you hit him in the back of the head while he's busy. While he's a little busy. Presuming Tavi hits. All right. Yeah. Two attacks. Two yep. attacks. Go Tavi. Okay. Let's double seventeens. Uh, oh. those will hit. Yeah. All right. I should have cast shield faith just to be a dick. <laughs> uh, before you attack, because Paladins, do you want to attack? Do you want to? Attach a um, hunter's mark on that. Um, oh, you agree on smites. How do you feel about other magic? <laughs> I well, have no intention. Faith. I have no intention of using spells. Okay. I, will I was say that. I was leaning that way too. Okay. You can. So. This is more about weapons than anything yeah. else. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen. Okay. Go, Go ahead. So two d six for first attack. <laughs> Almost oh, max shit. damage. Eleven. Nice. Eighteen reduced to nine for you. No, no he's, he's not, not reduced. Yet. He's not raging. No, I didn't oh. Rage. Yeah. Eighteen. I also times. don't really want to. He should not rage for this. Oh, if he's not raging, I should have put bets on Tavi. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, that that no one knew that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I need to get my phone. Double eighteen damage for thirty six. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Christ. Stonk. While you are turned away, soaking up the attention from the audience, you receive a hefty whooping to your ass <laughs> and the back of your head. All right, how much was it total? Uh, 18 plus 18. I think that's 36? 36, yeah. yeah. Okay, I am going to use Stone's Endurance. Just you already used Stone's Endurance today. It's a short rest. And I feel like I should have gotten a short rest at some point today. Okay, all right, I'll allow it. Come on, I'm taking 36 oh, damage oh, wow, right off watch the bat. Yourself. <laughs> I mean, he did have dinner before oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so 11 off of that, so 25. I th- oh, I thought you were raging for a second. I went, oh. No, no, no. And, and it's rolling a, the, the, the eye. Maybe if you get close mm-hmm. to kicking us off, he'll get angry and uh, rage. That's a 16 performance, or per persuasion. For yeah, they, they're, they're hyped. They're ready. Stock is over high key rage as he rolls and starts <laughs> slaughtering the audience. Nope, right. Tommy's the one who has his attention right now. So, on me. <laughs> Fuck, I am yeah. gonna have to rage because I won't succeed if I don't do that. <laughs> I know. We... But don't worry, I'll reckless. Um, First, he got a rage. Yep. First, he got a rage. Oh, oh thank no. God. <gasps> what was it? <laughs> You're gonna uh, six. It, it was like almost four. No, four. four. It's four. It was a four. It's plenty. <laughs> If you can't run into that rapper, you might have you might have done it. Alright. Time to smack you. That was a dirty trick. Hitting me when I'm hyping things up. I've still not rolled over a, a ten. This is actually incredible. Um yeah, fifteen to hit for one of them. Mm, that won't hit. Yeah. Wow. Oh jeez, maybe we should have been on Tavi. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, that's better. Uh, 25, to, or 26 to hit. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. It's, uh, 1d10 plus, I think, 1d6. Yep, 1d6. Yeah. Don't worry. You're only going to take almost max damage. <laughs> um, 15, 20 points of damage. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Two more bonks coming your way, potentially. Alright. Hit me with them. That's... Oof. I don't think... Well, well, 19 hit. Yes, well, okay. 19 will hit. And 13 probably will not, right? No. Okay, one hits. What? Get advantage. Get yeah. advantage? Cause, yeah. Because he reckless. Oh. So, so that one hits and then okay. roll. The 19 hits. Advantage on both? Yeah, well, you already yeah, had yeah, advantage on the first one. And that's 14 plus 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those both hit. Then... Uh, points. That's eight. You re-roll twos and ones. You can re-roll twos and ones, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you just get a one? No, no. I got another. Oh, uh, that's max. That's another 18. Not quite max. Oh, is that a five? Max. I thought that was one a double six. One short. So that's 18. All right. And then twos and ones re-roll. <laughs> that is max. <laughs> 
So 12 plus 7, 19. 18 and 19. So don't forget to add your plus 3 for your hammer. Seven. Um, it should probably be in your total. Oh, it's, ar- it's already there. Okay. Yeah, it's already equipped. Um, so that's 37 cut in half. Um, so 18. 18? Okay. Yeah, it'll be 36. Um, I'm still up. Oh, yeah. How close are you to half? Uh, pretty close. Uh, next round will do it. Um, How close are you to half? Uh, 62 out of 82. Oh, so. It's pretty even it's, still. <coughs> it's, if Stonk hits both these, you're you probably just got an advantage on Stonk by attacking yeah. first yeah. while he wasn't raging. Yeah. Alright. Back to me then? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Reckless thing still? Yeah, I'm still reckless. It's more fun than that. It's faster. Um, 21. Yep. No. <laughs> Two and a four. Ooh. Stong hits his first attack, but second attack does not... What are you rolling again? Oh, now you're rolling damage. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have great weapon. Nope, you do not. Um, so yeah, that's six plus five, so eleven. Eleven. That doesn't put you at half. I'm trying to remember what my half is. Forty... Forty-six is half. Yeah. yeah. What do you got right now? Wait. Fifty-one. Okay. Yeah, I'm at fifty-one, too. Damn. 47 is half for me. Wait, what did you say was half for you? Mine's 40... 46. No. No. That's I take it back, Stonk. You do have great weapon fighting. You got it because you're a paladin. Oh, yeah, cool. So, so you, you can re-roll. re-roll that, yeah. I will re-roll my one. It becomes max, uh, so that so becomes... Five, five more. to that. Five, five more to that. Is that oh, that's half then. No. no. 36. <laughs> Math is hard. I'm tired. So it's exactly half then? This are not half yet. No, no I have ten more points. To go. Oh, okay. I feel like so. I feel like we're What's your total? Maybe. Okay. So Tommy has an amulet of health. Forty-one. Forty-one, 41 is half for you. Right. I'm not mathing. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not at forty-one right now. No, I'm forty-six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you're fine. So you got hit well or lose? And these are also advantage. Yes. Yep. Okay. So. You just have to hit one. Really? Uh, 18 plus stuff. Yep. Uh, 17? Yep. Okay. You gotta smite him for good measure. <laughs> I mean, you- I mean, there's I, no way no, you could I, kill, I, but- <laughs> I won't. I'm not that mean. Uh, Seven seven plus. 17, 17 plus- 17. Uh, 5, 7, 12. So, 29. 20. 29 total cut in half. It, it's gonna 19. give me below uh, half, Wait, but... 14. 14. 14. Thank you. Alright. 14. Thank you. So yeah, that cuts me below half. Um, and, you know, after you hit him with the second attack in a row, Stunk will kind of, like, hold up his hand. It's like, alright, well done. The crowd begins to cheer, and I'll say, Tavi, you get this boost of... <laughs> confidence and you know you're like yeah yeah i beat him i deserve it stonk because you're a goliath i'll say you note that their celebration of tavi is Ta- <laughs> tavi's like it's about me it's about my achievement you say they're only happy a human beat a goliath mm-hmm. <laughs> i'd like to start a chant now of just tavi tavi tavi, tavi. Tavi. I'll soak in for a second. I'm gonna go like freaking. <laughs> ass- Elric's cashing in. Yeah, I I gave him the three gold I owe. Uh, <laughs> can I get, can can I get, get my bro hand Yeah, you get my gold. Bro ass the slap. Full, like, no. <laughs> 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 a little too intense there. <laughs> so just freaking like flips over. <laughs> Goes for full Nelson. All right. I win these. <laughs> People are hyped. They enjoy it. A lot of people pat Tavi on the back, and a few of them offer you free drinks. <gasps> I'll take drinks. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go for a window stock, though. Are you drinking a lot? Not excessively, but like... You're, you're getting, getting drunk. Getting you're not drunk, getting drunk, plastered, getting, though. Yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Oh god, somebody's a bad influence on poor Tavi. <laughs> Almost every time I felt sad and we were on a watch together, you <laughs> offered him alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> It's Bad funny. influence. <laughs> oh no, how could this have happened? How could this have happened? <laughs> Tommy, you're a pure innocent boy like you. Anything else you guys wish to talk about tonight or do? Um, after I uh, 
blues um, that I am going to use my lay on hands just to heal myself up a little bit. That's fine. Um, and then I'll probably leave a little bit earlier than everyone else. All right. And just head back to the Lars's room. My room. Because as you do, you get pulled aside by someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who is it? Odell would like to speak to you. <laughs> would he now? <laughs> yes. Gunner's oh. office, this way. <laughs> by all means, show the way. I'll you are... I know where it is. <laughs> You are led into um, Gunner's office once more, where uh, Gunner, Thyra, and Odell are present. Gunner sits in his chair with his hand over his mouth, Thyra with her arms crossed in the corner, and Odell standing there directly looking at you, tapping his butt. <laughs> Gunner says, Stunk! Mm-hmm. Welcome, come in. Oh boy. Close the door. All right, I'll close and you're the door. a half elf. Going to this lovely conversation. A little more than half. And Gunner lets out a sigh, and Odell steps forward. We have some questions for you. By all means. Clarifications. If we're going to be working on the same side from now on. Of course. And Gunner kind of looks up from his hand and says, I told him everything I know. And Gunner looks at you. Tell me what the fuck happened to Eric. Uh, uh, Eric saved my life. But in the chaos of trying to escape the capital... I don't know where he went. I assume you don't know either, since you are asking me. No. No, I didn't know. Gunner sighs and says, You never mentioned this? I didn't think it was important. You didn't you didn't think it was important, and Odell kinda like pipes up. What do you mean? He's a chieftain, for the gods' sake. And Gunner... Correct me if I'm wrong. Nods and says, like, I agree. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it does not seem like chieftain is a very desirable position these days. And he he shakes his head, and he shakes his head and goes, That man is my friend. And Gunner nods and... You know, like, Gunner and Eric were not... On close terms, but they... They had a very dear, like, near and dear mutual respect for each other. They just didn't really talk at all. So Gunner Gunner is also disappointed and, like, saddened by this, but Odell is kind of just speaking what they're both thinking. I want the great Eric backstory, because we once saw that sad, sad man. Everyone loves him. I want to know what happened. (laughs) I want to know why he became the sad, sad man, besides, of course, his wife being killed. Yeah. And being stalked by Andor. Oh, we should have... I should cast Sending and ask him how his wife's doing. You should cast uh, Sending on Andor? No, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sending on uh, Andor. How's your wife doing? How's your wife doing? I I'll still probably respond you? with something like, better now. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> to speed run that Andor plot line. <laughs> he rushes to Baruch. Gunner right pipes up and says, It was Eric who told you to come here, right? Uh, out of character, I do not remember. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yes, he was. So why... Why didn't you tell me he was dead? And, oh, and, um, uh, Odell kind of holds out his arms like, we don't, we don't know that. In all honesty, I forgot. See, Gunner's just like, wrong, that's not what you say. (laughs) 
And there's no deeper meaning behind the fact that I did not tell you that Eric sent me. It no, simply you, you said not. Eric sent you. You just didn't mention. Did I? Yeah, when you guys came in, the only reason you were let in is Eric sent us. Oh. Eric sent us. Don't ask about Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, yeah, my... I don't remember this at all. Sorry. You avoided telling them. Okay. Thank you. Because you just didn't want to say Yeah, it. you didn't want to say what happened. You were trying not to implicate yourself. <laughs> oh, well then... In that case, um, I need to change my answer. Go ahead. He didn't forget, you forgot. It slipped your mind. Josh for Gore. Yeah, this is, this is a Josh moment. Um, Certified Josh moment. I remember what they just said. Sorry. What didn't, uh, they, what didn't I say? You said, like, sorry, I didn't remember, but think, but I'm reminding you that Eric, you yeah, guys, no, I mean, Eric told did, you to come here, yeah. What did they say prior to that? Like, um, why didn't you say anything? Like, um, Eric, Eric is how you got in here, and you didn't tell me that he was, this is Gunner saying, like, you didn't tell me that he was his you know, dad, Eric maybe. could have died. Don't deserve Eric. Well, we haven't seen Eric in quite some time. We didn't at the time. I haven't seen him since episode 18 and it's 47. Still an impact on us. How many though. episodes has been since Sam the Blacksmith? Oh, God. He's, he's been touching he us. He was thinking the second episode. I didn't know if he was dead or not. And. I didn't feel. I don't really have a good answer here. How genuine is Stonk being? Hmm? How genuine is Stonk being? Um, I'd say Eric is probably one of the few people in the Avnordian Empire that Stonk actually kind of respected. <laughs> and therefore, he is, you know, slightly worried about him, but he does not know if Eric is dead. Yeah. And so he doesn't really want to kind of... Spread the rumor. He, he doesn't want to believe it himself. Yes. As long as he it, it exists in this kind of nebulous, maybe he's dead, maybe he isn't, Stonk can kind of keep going on. So. I'm not dead. Why did you leave me? <laughs> um... But I just can't really think about how to put that into words. Odell kind of lets out a sigh and says, I don't really have a choice but to believe you and your story. I will send my best wishes to uh, Eric and hopes he is still breathing, but... Have you not heard word from... Shit, what was the na- name his of his son? Town? No, no, his town. Baldenkirk. Um, Baldenkirk. Have you not heard a word from Baldenkirk? His son, uh, Anar, has been in charge since of Eric's leave. Just assume Eric never came back. And the capital? I left before you did. No further word, though. No, but if I had to guess, Hilda was able to gain some form of control there as she took half their army. Hmm. Well, I do genuinely hope he survives. He was one of the few Avnordians I respected. <laughs> and kind of Olaf, like, scoffs at that. And, Olaf? Olaf? Sorry, well, wow. Uh, <laughs> Olaf Odell, Odell scoffs at that. Um, well, Gunner is just kind of, like, you know, disappointed, like, mm-hmm. holding his face. Um, Odell 
turns to you and sternly asks, though. Stonk. Tavi informed me earlier of uh, <laughs> something to do with kidnapping, but before, <laughs> before that, Gunner here had told me that you all had practically begged to uh, fight Ingvold in his tournament. I have no doubts in my mind that that was you. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Are you going to get angry with me because I dragged <laughs> your surrogate son along with me? Mad is not the word I would use, but... Before you go, remember this. I understand that the Evnordian Empire is a difficult place, especially for your kind. All I want for Tavi is for him to be safe through all of this. And I don't want you to further jeopardize that. And so you sent Tavi with us. <laughs> that was Tavi's choice. He didn't want to come back with me. He made his decision. He's a grown-ass man. That's not what Tavi told us. What did Tavi tell you? I'm pretty sure that he said that it was your request. That he was not welcome back in... Fuck, now I'm blanking on that town. Gale, Gale Thorpe? Gale yeah. Thorpe. <clears throat> Dare insinuate that I would say something about that to my own son. Why would I insinuate that? I never said such a thing, Stonk. I asked him to come with me, and he requested to stay. And I just told him not to fuck shit up. Well, in the interest of being completely open and honest, I'll have you know that Tavi has died already. His eyes, <laughs> his eyes grow at you. What do you mean? Twice. Well, no, not twice, twice, just once. We died once. Everyone died once except e- Toriel. Except ah. Toriel. And we can change that. Rickard's died three times. Soleil's died twice. Oh well, no, twice, technically. You've not died <laughs> twice. Rickard came close to death like five or so six close times. To death. Yeah. Yeah. And some of those close to death were just death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The tournament was hard on all of us. If you're truly a dad, I would recommend... It's uncomfortable when you say that. <laughs> I would recommend that you check in on Tavi. And... Oh, God, sorry. He sported him on the catch? I would recommend, if you cared for Tavi, talk to him. He's been through a lot. And I am certainly not the one to talk to him about it. But you're here now. Enjoy the time you have left. We only have a little bit left. You know, Stomp Collar, I've built up a lot of resentment for you. However... I'm willing to put that aside for the sake of the Avnordian Empire. But I do ask you one thing. The halfling, Slane. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And he, he thinks to himself and says, Tell Slane and Tavi that the item from Elder Guard is safe. And Gunner is just like, hmm? (laughs) You didn't bring it with you, did you? No. Unfortunate. Could have been used, but... Nothing to be done now. And Gunner's like, I think 
I think that's enough. Thank you, Stonk. He waves you out. Yeah, I'll leave. <laughs> All right, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the session today. Gunner, deep, deep down, I'm sure Gunner's proud of you. Gunner? Gunner? Oh my god, you people. (laughs) Odell's proud of you. Oh yeah. With my negative one insight, I'll never know. My son went on a suicide mission and came back to life a champion. Goddamn. And I just found out he died during it. Came back from a dead from a suicide mission, but he lived. Died on suicide mission, but still here. <laughs> suicide squad. <laughs> don't, anyway. worry, don't worry, I got better. <laughs> Wrapping up the session here, do we have any uh, last comments, questions? No, I think um, Toffee and Odell should go to family therapy. Agreed. I think they need so much more than family yeah. therapy. I think there's other people that need family <laughs> therapy more. Okay, ther- <laughs> therapy can't fix that shit. <laughs> I wish my brain Child Protective so Services need to be called. Yeah. Troll diplomacy is impossible. Uh, we yeah. learned that. I had more I wanted to say in that conversation, but I, I could not formulate words. That's so. fine. Oh, well. You'll be able to talk to him next session. You got your point across. Yeah, some of it. Stop. Do oh, well. you secretly care about me? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's what I was trying to get across. I Stonk. can see it. Yeah, Stonk is to uh, uh, the 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 fu- If we were to rewrite that scene, the the vibe I got from you is um, Tavi's suffering, and I'm not his dad. It's not my fucking problem. <laughs> yeah. You're here now. Yeah. deal with it. You be his dad. I'm done. Play catch with the fuck. <laughs> stepdad tracking along. Stepdad tracking down biological dad to tell me the se- well. I, that is actually a good way of it. Yeah. It's not so much like, oh, Stonk cares about Tavi. It's a, Stonk has dealt with Tavi for, you know, this... This is not my son. Not my problem anymore. You know, Odell's Tavi, here, deal with it. It's not my problem, but Tavi deserves better. Mm-hmm. Stonk, is, Stonk, is, Stonk, is, Stonk is older brother energy right now. Stonk is slowly <laughs> recognizing the party's people. Slowly. Mm-hmm. And and this is this is the uh, it's been accumulation of... 50 sessions. 50 <laughs> sessions. <laughs> right now, Tavi's like, oh, beloved dog. At this point, it's going to be at session 100 where Stonk's going to be like, hey. Power friendship. <laughs> Ta- Tavi, I care about you. <laughs> session 100. And that's yep. as far as he ever gets. <laughs> then, then he, he dies. dies. <laughs> then he fucking dies. Character completed. And and he's it, it absolutely will come out of Tavi, watch your back. And Tavi's like, what the fuck do you do now? I'm going to get killed by Stonk? <laughs> <laughs> See, that, that either happens at the very last session, or Stomp dies upon saying, I care about you. Dies. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> As Stonk is dying there, and, and whoever it is, Slane, Tavi, Rickard, whatever, is cradling his head as he passes on to the other side. <laughs> he says... <laughs> You know what? I'm just thinking of the joke from Bojack Horseman where it's just like, as like my mother laid there and died, she looked at me like with these wide eyes and said, I I see you. And I wondered like what she saw. Did she see me for who I was? And then I turned around and I saw, I see you. God damn it, we were in the intensive care unit. That's a dark bad. The whole episode's a fucking bomb. See you. She was just spelling. <laughs> That's such a good episode. Yeah. Oh. The episode convinced me that the whole show is just going to be a one long horse walks into a bar joke. Yeah, basically. <laughs> all right. Wrapping up here. It was a good session. And I'll hopefully see you all next week on my birthday. Oh, Yay! I'm sorry. I'm going to be sick. Oh, actually. yeah. Okay, uh, you're calling out. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling out ahead of time. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Next week's the 10th, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's all get COVID again. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We didn't really talk about that, uh, but uh, Chris gave us all COVID last session. Thank you, Chris. You're welcome. Well, I gave half of people yeah. here. I, I I don't know how I don't know how you avoided it. Yeah. It's because because you're next. Y'all took me home as well. Yeah. yeah. You're stuck in the are, are, you had COVID are you an asymptomatic carrier? I've never had COVID. <laughs> are both of you asymptomatic carriers? <laughs> well, I know that, Kelly, you, you were asymptomatic. I was, I was asymptomatic completely. Yeah. We were struggling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I still remember the fuck you, Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
We're going to wrap this up then. See y'all next week. Next week. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye.